Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Alright, let's continue with space exploration. And as I recall, we just made this new ship. Um, what do we got here? A couple of antimatter engines. I was considering making it four. Uh, only 500 oh this was gonna be the new construction ship yeah that's why that's why we're not going for lots of container stress and it is a certain size so that it'll fit in our old gantries here so we don't have to make new ones um we've also reached our destination at gorilla interesting name Let's see where the pyramid is. Do we have any biters? Literally zero. What's our fuel? Half. Should be fine. Um, let's anchor right about here. And whoops. I was going to say make sure I'm equipped. Morning. What's the plan for today? Uh, Lanarian? Uh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, the plan today is probably basically to keep expanding the throughput of Naquium. Um, we've unlocked Tier 2 Science. I would like to get Arcosphere Collection, but we still need lots more Naquium to get any kind of decent flow of Science. Alright, let's step outside for a moment. That looks kind of weird. Okay. Let the janitor do his thing. Thank you, janitor. And... Excuse me, my voice is having trouble warming up. Alright, screenshot that one. And away we go. Um... We've got, I think, Rizm. Oh, we've got a lot of planets here. Hold on. We haven't been to Prism yet. Why did I come to Gorilla first? It's kind of big. Yeah, I th if I recall correctly, there's a lot of stuff in this uh, solar system for us to visit. I don't have that much fuel, and it's really far away. Um, so I decided i probably just visit the biggest planet and come back for the rest later. We're down to 16k out of 50 in each fuel tank. Um, I could probably do another planet or two, but I don't want to cut it close. Alright, so Nalvis Orbit it is. And back we go. Let's not forget to do our little screenshot. And cut. of that into the Discord. Uh, why can't I... There we go. Alright, let's see what else we've got going on right now. We do have a bunch of ships we need to save. Some of the old ones have run out of fuel, or uh, maybe they ended up with too much water. Well, no, if, if it was too much water... No, they actually ran out of water. Yeah, too much water we can fix by separating a container with picket dollies and deleting a bit of water. 
Um, but these ones have somehow managed to run out. I think it was probably because I accidentally stopped beaming power to this station for too long. And so uh, the water pump, like everything else, wasn't getting a whole lot of electricity. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Um, so we'll need to be... We'll need to visit them to give water. Much easier rescue mission is going to be visiting these guys to give them uranium fuel cells. In fact, we could probably do it on the way back. We're not that low on antimatter, I'm pretty sure. How much longer would it take? Hmm... I'd say it's unlikely that we can get back to Nalvis, but we can't afford to go to Calamity and then to Nalvis. So let's aim for... Varus 2. For our first one. And I'll grab Varus 2. And tell it to aim at the player ship. Otherwise, when it catches up, we're just going to sort of keep moving, even though they should be right next to each other. Cool. Um, as for the Morpheus ships, I'll probably take water barrels to rescue these ones. Um, it's a little awkward, I can't quite put down a machine to empty the water right here. I, I could probably, like, just temporarily remove this solar panel. Oh, wait, come to think of it, if there's no power at all... There's 16 kilowatts, but that is getting... There's significantly more being drawn as minimum power consumption. Hmm. 388 kilowatts max consumption, 12.5 minimum. Um, if I remove the pylon substation temporarily um, and just connect a solar panel or two. I, I think I'll just build some spaceship floor on the outside here. So we'll do like, some spaceship floor, some solar panels, probably like a medium power pole. Do I even carry those? I don't. I'll use the add-on power pole so we have a little separate power network, or I'll just delete the and or I'll delete the pylon that's there for a second. So we'll have a little tiny power network that'll at least be just barely functional for emptying uh, water barrels. And once we give it water, it'll have its own power. Does the power generation from solar on a ship in transit vary according to the destination? Uh, yes. Basically, well, you can see the uh, solar power that we're getting from our panels right here rapidly diminish. Um, once we leave a solar system, we only get 1% of what that solar panel is capable of, um, no matter where we go. But... Um, I actually had a couple of ships a while ago. Actually, I think I've got them over here. Um, we've got some ion ships that just run off of solar panels. And their only job is to deliver um, probes and probe rockets. Uh, space probes and space probe rockets to the sun and to the asteroid belt. Um, so we don't actually really need, like, a nuclear plant or something for these ones. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, these ships, depending on if they're going to the sun or if they're going back to the asteroid belt, um, will get significantly faster or slower running an ion engine off of a few solar panels. That's a challenge, yeah. Yeah, you need some kind of reactor or something for an interstellar trip. We did do... There are a couple of ways you can go about it. Um, at least for short trips, you can actually pull it off with just a... just some accumulators, believe it or not. Um, although... It had better be a pretty low power ship and a relatively short distance, or a lot of accumulators. Um, you can also do it with steam, which is sort of the same thing, but you need some uh, turbines to make use of that. Um, it's a little bit of a hassle if you are recycling the water, because you can't... Uh, you can't generate a surplus of energy um, with that loop. It will run out eventually. But I suppose you could probably run a high temp turbine generator. If you were to, if you were to use a electric boiler and make a bunch of 5,000 degrees steam, Run the high temp turbine generator off the 5,000 degree steam. You should have enough power left over to basically flash the water to uh, 165 degree steam so that you could just get rid of it. But it's probably better just to store the water output. Um, but yeah, you absolutely can do it. Uh, instead of having like a nuclear reactor or something, you can store a bunch of energy. Although the best way to do that, um, actually, is with a energy beam receiver. Just the amount of energy that these things hold on to is gargantuan. Hey, Veldak. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Um, so what are we doing next? How much Naquium do we have? Not enough? I see a train picking some up, so it's not that bad. That's a lie. Overall through could put throughput could be pretty bad and we might happen to see a train picking this up. But the fact that I'm seeing almost all of these furnaces active, these ones are running out. That's still pretty good, actually. Uh, let's see. Aquian. It's been pretty steady. Wow. Naquatite mining has been completely steady for 10 minutes. Why is there a drop off here? Oh, I think I know. We've probably got some ships on their way back from Black Mirror. This was the first iteration on um, deep space mining, and I thought, wouldn't it be cool if the spaceship was the power plant? Um... Yes and no. The only trouble with this is uh, we don't have defense from asteroids. Um, so if an asteroid hits here, we're going to need to replace some stuff. On the next iterations, we've got a uh, power plant receiving heat from the nearest sun uh, with energy beaming. And... It's all pretty straightforward. 
we need to bring ice on our ships. I guess... Hmm. Maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea... I mean, I've already set this up and everything, it's fine, but maybe next time we could just steal some of the water from each ship. Um, this is way more than enough water to get this trip done, and we do need water to be on this ship anyway. So maybe, rather than setting up an ice machine... The thing is, uh, water stored as ice is incredibly dense as well. I definitely feel a bit more secure that this is going to keep working. Um, having all of this ice here. And it gives us an easy way to control the fluid levels so that um, this thing has an output. Hey, Mikelet. Good to see you again. Well, and welcome. Hope you're doing well. Although that said, I guess a pump with a similar condition would do the same job. So yeah, maybe next time I will just have water taken directly from the ship. Then again, um, there's often a convenient patch of ice which will keep us going for a very, very long time. Uh, like here, for example. 12k ice, ignoring productivity bonuses. Um, that's a lot. Why is this thing not moving? Because I switched this off. There was a reason I switched this off, but what was it? I think... Wait, what? Oh. You know, that should be enough to get back. This was one of the ships that ran out of fuel. We've got a little reserve here to fix that. I think I wanted to make sure that this actually got recharged. Okay. What about a water ice buffer chest on the ships? Yeah, we do have water ice being brought on the ships. So there's, uh, what have we got? 33 chests that are used for the main product that we're transporting. Uh, and I've just got one chest for miscellaneous stuff to keep the outpost going or to expand it a little bit. And one stack of water ice is included in that. Alright, what's our ETA to rescue these ships? 24 minutes, that's going to be like 3 hours with our UPS. I mean, about 1 hour, actually. Dope. This ship is well and truly ready to launch. Did I give it a name yet? Nope. The Kaku. Well... Um, I think I was sending all of these ships to Stardust, and we're just going to keep spamming them to this location until it's actually the bottleneck ship shifts from the ships to the mine, and then once that happens, we're going to make another mine up here. Or I could just make that mine before that happens as well. I'll do that personally when... I've finished rescuing the other ships. Unless we get our construction ship to go do that first. Our new one. Anyway, um... Stardust. Number 10. I didn't think we'd need that many ships, um, considering we cranked this up to a thousand hull stress. But... Aquatite has a very small stack size. Stardust 10. Actually, I would love to test 
Let me make sure I've updated... Well, this would have come from the blueprint anyway. I'd like to run a test and see if the exact same ship with more hull stress um, by adding chests, whether we'd get the same or higher throughput because we don't lose as much speed proportionally. Um, kind of need to jump into the editor for that. The only other problem with this, though, is because the way these ships work is with set requests on the chests, um, we need to read the logistic network to tell how much is in them. Um, so we've got the logic for these ships on the outside, and the logic here says about 15,800 uh, Naquium, Naquitite, tells us that this ship is full. Um, I could give them... Hmm, I didn't want to give different clamp IDs at the new outpost. I could do it just temporarily. So that the new ships are going to head to the the other outpost. I wanted all the ships that are in motion to um, Stardust already to be able to go to either mine. Actually, you know what? I can test this really easily and just change... I, I can get rid of the extra chests while the ship is in motion because we've included the, uh, uh, the Roboport. I'm thinking I should have also included um, some spare walls in here. We do have one spare... no we don't. Well, we sort of do. We do have one spare piece of wall if something gets broken. That might be enough, honestly. Okay. Um, yeah, let's do it. So this is... Stardust 10, or chests test, so I've remembered to change that back. Uh, first of all, what's our top speed on our Stardust ships? It is not telling me here, how about we find one that's in motion? There's a lot of them that are waiting at Stardust already, actually. Uh, I don't know if I messed something up earlier, but I suspect we need that new mine. Alright, top speed is 214.38. For 33 chests. And I just realized that since we have one chest that's reserved for miscellaneous, um... If we get an exact ratio of more container stress equals proportionally the slower speed, then we should be slightly better off just because of the one chest here not being used for the main product. Um, but that said, uh, I don't think that's really... That, that's not the significant difference that I'm looking for. Alright, so... I'll let it reach top speed first. And then I'll, add, I'll, I'll drop in some passive provider chests. And watch what happens to the speed. I guess the easiest thing would be to double the container stress and see if we don't go at half the speed. So, 978.5. I can't, uh... 
we, we've also got fluid containers which do count for the container stress. So I want to try and remember 978.5. Uh, how about this? Actually, let me let me put it on that ship. Um, we got a constant combinator here. Uh, is that speed? No, that speed sig. Uh, that that signal isn't going anywhere except for this combinator. I mean inserter. So I'm just gonna put speed. It was two thirty eight, right? And container stress nine seventy eight. So that's um that that'll be our measurement before we make a change. Hey Raren, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're all doing well and having a great Friday. Thank you. All right, it will take uh, longer and longer to speed up just a little bit more to reach the top speed. Actually, no, we already measured this on one of our other ships. Here we go. 214, that is not top speed. Why is it only 214 on this one? I'm sure it was 238. Or was it 214.38? That might actually be it. Let me copy paste Stardust so I don't have to keep typing it. 214.38. Uh, how many more are in motion? 214.38. Okay. Glad I double checked that. So 214 is our top speed. And 978 is our container stress. We've already. Oh, we're already there. Cool. Uh, let's start adding chests. I'm sure we've got room to double our container stress. That's already 1482. So about probably like 23 more. Oh, it refreshes that immediately. Uh, 1962, what's our previous? 978. 1956, that's as close as it's gonna get. Alright, so what's our top speed now? If our top speed is more than 107, then that should be an improvement in throughput. Although we will have to pay more antimatter to get off of Nalvis, but with eight tanks, I don't think we need to worry. I'm seeing the decrease in speed. Uh, the delta is slowing down, so I don't think we're going to hit 107 here. It also makes it easier on the defenses because we're going slower. We probably don't need half of these lasers now, but I would rather keep them. Hmm. If I'd only included uh, green chests in these chests right here, I could have patched all of these ships remotely. Like, even while they're in motion. Something to think about next time. 
speed is still dropping, but we're down to like point point oh one of a unit each time it ticks. I need to see it stop reducing though before I make a decision here. I wonder if... Let's take a random Stardust ship. Um, we've got two inventory slots here. I didn't fly quite as close to the sun this time. It looks like that's the norm. So I think I actually can set up something so that we can upgrade all of these ships with relative ease. Um, if I add something at the novice end, where the drop-off station is, um, we'll add green chests to this robot network. Um, and then... And then? Uh, I need to add green chests to the whitelist here. Otherwise they'll be taken back to the mall. And then... Right about here is our list of requests that get put into this chest. Um, and we also just multiply that by negative one in here to check that that has been loaded. So if I just add a little bit less than a stack of green chests here so that the bots don't oversupply stack-wise, um, now we're going to request buffer chests. Actually, before I do, I'd love to know why this ship isn't taking off yet. Not enough fluid. It's antimatter. It's just still pumping it in. Okay. I could maybe lower the threshold for takeoff again. What are we looking at? 48,980. I dropped this down to 49,000. Looks like it's taking off. Um, yeah, I might have the ship take off just a little bit sooner. The sweet spot we're looking for is way more than enough antimatter stream, but also the pumps get slower and slower as this is more full. We want to take off in a reasonable time frame. <clears throat> uh, sorry, I think I was muted. Uh, so once the chest, uh, once the ships come back here, they're going to receive. Uh, a stack of buffer chests, and once enough of them have those buffer chests, or maybe even all of them, once they've all done another circuit, um, I'll have them all upgrade themselves, and then in one fell swoop, we can uh, change this number right here, the amount of nacrotite that has to be on the ship before it takes off. And we'll take full advantage of the extra whole integrity that we've researched. Um, and sure enough, our speed is 135.39 uh, with all of these extra chests. So 107 uh, would have been 
breaking even. Ignoring the fact that just one of these chests is dedicated to miscellaneous. So we're actually slightly more than doubling these chests here. Oh, and also ignoring the offset from the storage containers as well. So that alone, uh, this would have been a bit more efficient if our speed was halved and we doubled our hull stress, uh, container stress. But yeah, this is a, this is a significant increase. What is that, about 25, 27%? Uh, more throughput, that is. That's a massive amount of chests now. Yeah. Let's see. It should be... Um, uh, 135 over 107, right? Or am I doing it backwards? Yeah, 26% more throughput. That is nothing to scoff at. There's no reason to leave these passive provider chests here for now. Um, I forgot that there was no storage chest on this thing. Is that going to sort itself out? I don't know if we have a storage chest here. I don't think we do. But when the ship flies back to now, there's, there's some storage chests. Helen Kyle, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fat boy, not so slim. Good to see you again also. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, so yeah, once they've all done a lap, um, once they're all carrying some green chests, um, I'll just add as many more of these as I can fit uh, with the same green wire connection set requests uh, to all of those ships. I didn't actually see how many new, uh, more chests it was. We need to count them now. How many bots do we have in motion, in, in flight here? Uh, well, we've got four by seven. Twenty-eight plus nine. 37, 8, 9, 41, I think. Sounds about right. So that's actually significantly more than doubling our 33 chests that we're using for, um, for Naquitite as well. So that's actually significantly more than the 26% estimate in increased throughput. Pretty good. Um, Alright, let's check in on our construction ship. Uh, I did want to change the design a bit, I think. Where is the console? Oh, there it is. Top speed... Uh, I don't remember what the top speed was. But I'm pretty sure it was low enough that I would like to add some more engines here. One, two, three, four, five. Something like this, perhaps. going to be very square at the back again. And after we do this, we need to take it for a test drive to make sure the defenses are still more than enough. And some wall down here. Cool. 
Unfortunately, we can't quite fit another accumulator in there. Not that we really need to. I might add just a little bit more chests at the back. Then again, we've probably got more than enough already. Uh, I would like to steal from... One of our old construction ships. So we got a several chests of scaffolding. Uh, this is a little bit off from what I want, but I will copy it. I don't know that we need to make nuclear reactors anymore? Yeah, I think I would rather... Well, not every planet's going to be waterless. We can still carry some steam turbines to get rid of the 500 degree um, output from the high temp turbine generators. But yeah, most of this is going to be basically unchanged. It's quite a lot to deal with, actually. Alright, um... Why don't we copy some of this for now? Except... Wait, no, don't put it there. I want it to only be in this robot network. And before the bots fill it up, I need to reorganize this a little bit. Um, that's fine. Don't need this, don't need this. More of these, please. In fact, why don't you just carry a stack of these? Um, they're not exactly hard to make. Where's the stack size for this? Condenser turbine... Uh, we also need steam turbines. Couple of stacks, why not? Why does it not show stack size if I point at it here? Stack size 50. Okay, that's what I thought. That might be overfilling. Um, Alright, so let's say scaffolding here. And this other stuff here. Still got lots of chests remaining. Didn't we have the outpost uh, sitting over here? There it is. Um, this is close to what I want. But I'll remove the one in the middle. We're also going to need, uh, let's see, we've already got bots, repair packs, uh, what else? We're carrying nuclear fuel, of course. I think it'll still be worthwhile to... Maybe steal from this one? Mm, not quite. Mm. 
No, I, I think it's better if we just kind of start from scratch here. Wait, why did that engine just kick in? Where are you going? Now this orbit. You've got plenty of heat. You've got no water. How did you end up with no water? Where is this ship? Uh, oh, that's right. It was in Calidus. It, it was at uh, the orbit of the sun. And I have no idea how it ended up running out of water. Probably it didn't get resupplied with water up here. And I assumed that it did at some point. When we had a temporary issue with that. Which was caused by a couple of missing pieces of wire. Okay. This is getting pretty close to what I'm after. We also need a whole lot of chests. Uh, how about 300 of each? And inserters. Uh, wait, this is... Six, 30 stacks. We've got 18 remaining. About three stacks of each type of inserter. Anything else I'm going to regret not bringing? How about some pylons? Uh, really, I just want... Because pylons are so good, we only need a few stacks. That said, it doesn't hurt to take extra. Apparently we don't have add-on power poles in here. That's fine, actually. A few radar construction pylons makes things a bit easier also. And then... Do I want to put train stuff in the same chest? Probably. Um, two stacks should be plenty. And some locomotives. If we don't have a multiple of two of these, uh, it's going to be a bit awkward. Let's just make sure... Why are there no signals here? Actually, the only time I ever make rail on these outposts is when we need, like, a single oil train. I don't want to bet that I won't have to make any... Um, I don't want to bet that I won't have to use any signals here. Do we have the stations? We do not. And then... 
some of this. We need twice as many of these uh, as locomotives if we're going to actually use them. And I'll just double check. I think I've got something automatic in place here for the whitelist for this place, so you don't have to do that. Um, let's add request for locomotives. And then, how many stacks is this? Uh, we've got our poles. Two, four, uh, plus eight, twelve. Ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Imagine that all three of those go over by a stack. Uh, so we've got about eight stacks left here. Let's throw in the combinators. Uh, we really only need three of these. Uh, and don't forget some signal transmitters and receivers. That one should avoid going overfilled. I've also got these chests up here that I can use. I can't think of anything else to put into these ships right now. And considering we've been using these outposter ships uh, for quite a while. Oh, miners and modules. And I don't remember if I copied media defenses in the same chest as energy beam stuff. Maybe I should also include um, point defense since that's a bit more economical sometimes. We're looking for three more stacks of this, and uh, one, two, three more stacks of this. So this is full, actually. Um, how about point defense stuff can go here. Um, 200 should be just super overkill, which is fine. And lots and lots of ammo. Uh, so let's say 44 stacks of ammo. Twenty two hundred. Seems good. I was going to say I wonder why we don't have certain things, but there's going to be a lot that's being delivered right now. Uh, modules, various assembly machines, miners, beacons, 
single space probe rocket silo, landfill. I think we've got landfill already. It's in the same chest as the core mining drills. Not a whole lot of it, relatively. Yeah, I think uh, maybe these two should be landfill. And then... Go with. We've got plenty of room in this chest still. Those requests are looking a little bit awkward. I'll leave that empty for now. Uh, we want a stack of drills. Actually, make it two stacks of drills. Uh, furnace. I see you're getting around 20 FPS UPS. What are your specs? Here you go. Uh, just curious as I want to try space exploration. Want to know what I can expect from my PC. Yep, fair enough. I believe RAM is still the bottleneck, and that's RAM speed as opposed to size. Um, I can check right now, actually. Performance. Um, we're using... only 10 gig out of 16. <clears throat> so I don't think we're close to having a speed issue because of the amount of RAM, it's just the speed of it. CPU level 3 cache. Fair enough. Thank you so much, no worries. You're a Yeti. <laughs> Thank you for the... Uh, uh, thanks for stopping by. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Um, I could still add some more chests, and thank you for the follow. <laughs> Even though I jumped the gun a little bit there. Um, I kind of want to move these two back here. I don't really care about this bit of asymmetry, I've decided. Or maybe I'll just add more chests later anyway. And thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Uh, Nikki Fizz, thank you for the follow as well. No, thank you very much, uh, Yori Yeti. <laughs> Love that name. Alright, so... Uh, we'll also need some ice. Actually, you know what? We just added... We just doubled our engines. We can definitely add a little bit more container stress. Um, where was I adding this stuff? Modules? Of the tier 6 variety. Not surprised we're starving a bit for productivity modules right now. And I guess I could also request some tier 3s, like if we're doing... Oh yeah, our new outposts are never going to have um... our new outposts aren't going to have stuff like this anymore. That really simplifies things and is going to help with UPS as well. Especially if I replace all the old ones. So I don't need to bring like any tier 3 prods just because I want this to... 
be a bit more efficient. Yeah, just popping in and out with antimatter simplifies things significantly. Makes sense, lol. GPU usage is non-existent, even with mods. Yeah, pretty much. If you've got a what is considered a decent GPU, um, if you're getting decent frame rates in other games, you're not going to have a GPU issue with Factorio. Does that power plant need water, or are you smashing some ice? It does need water, and this planet is waterless. Um, so just like with the deep space mining, uh, we have our ships deliver ice, and then... We do need to keep this not entirely full. Uh, so we've got a little circuit control on the inserters this time. Um, but yeah, we do have the ships that come to pick up Iridite. I should double check that these are working. Um, I think they are. I think we've just got more than enough Iridite right now. We've got four of them queuing up to drop off onto Nalvis. And this one is actually full. Okay, uh... Let's make sure Iridite is actually moving. There's no Iridite here. Oh. Uh-oh. Why is there no... Why is there no Iridite here? Um, how much? This is 7.2 train loads. Uh, stack size 100. Let's just say a hundred thousand. Are those... Those are both switched on, right? Yeah. So where's our iridite? That also appears to be iridite, but that wasn't where our ship was, was it? Uh, that's coal. Wait, where are we going? Ito bar. Ito bar 5. Oh, it doesn't actually jump to that unless we're looking at it from a different surface. Um, did I just forget? I, I, I forgot to tell LTN that we've got Iridite here. Whoops. And it should default to read contents. Okay. There should be a train scheduled to pick this up shortly. That light's gonna go yellow. There it is. Uh, and we'll get our five shiploads full of iridite in motion. Hopefully before we ran into some kind of problem. Uh, this is not enough to trigger a train delivery. This is not looking great. Well... We fixed it now. Hopefully nothing's going to crash somewhere because of that. I'm doing the same for my waterless worlds too. Makes sense. Yeah, ice just has incredible uh, density compared to storage tanks. Okay. Um, do we have our buffer chests? Fantastic. And then, where are we now? Oh, we caught up with Varus too. Wait, no we didn't. Why are we not moving? What ha- What? You're joking. An asteroid hit the very back side of the ship and instantly destroyed a- 
an antimatter engine? Jeez. Well, that's just rude. And I clearly... Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, I'm not carrying a spare. I did bring some spare walls, so we can get out of this. But, um... That's... That's a bit shocking. Good job, laser defense. We've also got shields up here, but yeah. Also, the fact that I have my personal laser defense active makes it seem all the more improbable. It is incredible how long you have to test a ship design for um, before you may run into something like this. We actually played with this design in editor extensions and sped up the game speed to like, what, 10 times game speed and flew it around for a while. Um, didn't run into any issues going through maximum density asteroids. Alright, well, I guess... Before I, before I continue, even though... Well, no, I, I, I'll fix this for now. And it's pretty obvious. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. No, we lost. Uh, we lost some of our precious spaceship floor. Uh, luckily I'm carrying quite a bit as well. And luckily the asymmetry won't like, push us to the left or something. Um, I also want... I also want to add more lasers, especially at the back. But I don't see... This is really the only spot that makes sense. Oh, yeah, we can sh just shove that in one tile. It should still be streamlined. Also, why was this laser defense facing the back? It probably was trying to shoot that asteroid down. Alright. Uh, I can't move that back a tile despite appearances. Are we still streamlined? Yeah, we're still streamlined. Although I don't like how blocky that part is now. Can we, like, add just a little bit? Still not great. That makes me a bit sad. Um, but it'll have to do. Alright, let's continue. At a significantly reduced pace, no doubt. It's not a power issue. Not even close. Okay. I could also push these up a tile. These lasers can go up here. It looks a little bit more cool, I guess. That one is looking... no, it's fine. Alright, well, I'll trust that we're still going to make it to our destination and make it home. How's our fuel? Yeah, we've got tons. And we'll repair this when we get back. Maybe I should have... 
I don't... I don't want to make carrying spare engines a thing that we normally do. Spare walls make sense. We do very rarely get a little bit of wall smashed on a design that we think is bulletproof. Um, this is just an improbable exception. And the asteroid's never going to hit this one, even if a case like this repeats itself a few times. Too much of an angle. Alright, what's our speed? It's still 197. That's not that bad. Not, not as bad as I feared. The new ship that we made is almost at Stardust. Uh, which should mean... I was going to say it should mean it's not that long until everything rotates so that we can upgrade all these ships at once. Uh, but actually they're all waiting their turn. We're actually bottlenecked on the mine itself. So, all the more reason to get that construction ship going. We need a whole lot of productivity modules first, though, if we don't want to waste Aquatite. Um... Oh, there's 225 modules here now. But none of them are in this chest. They're all over here. Um, let's just prioritize... Sending those out to space for now. What? Oh. Oh no. That's... that's not gonna take it. That, that's not gonna take those to the... to the robo-network I had in mind, but they'll get cycled back, it's fine. Okay. How many are we requesting? Only a stack. It's probably not enough. I would like this thing to be able to build the biggest Naquatite mine we've found in one go. So we've got, let's call it 40 um, big mining drills. So about 200. Make it 300. Cool. I don't think we're actually going to need electric furnaces anymore as well. But I don't know why they're not here. Um, I guess I'll just jam that in here. Okay. This, the amount of stuff that has to be delivered when we make a new ship like this is a bit much for our poor little single stack inserter taking from the cargo wagon. We don't actually need any fancy circuitry here, so why don't we just copy that across? And that's blacklist logistic bots. The logistic bots go straight in this chest. So that they can be given to the robot network if necessary. Much better. Okay. Uh, we will also need... I almost forgot to add this again. Some biochemical facilities. And 
just in case I could add some assembly machines. I don't know that we'll ever need a space assembly machine, but I would rather have it not need it. Some refineries. I doubt we're going to need this stuff anymore. I just want to make sure. How many accumulators do we have? 800? We mostly just put the flat solar panels in space, though. And beam the power. So I think that ratio is fine, actually. Oh, this will do for now. Oh, beacons. That's a good idea. accidentally did the tier 2. Uh, robo ports and stuff, that would probably be good. And then... that I have no idea. Oh, I didn't bring any rail, even though I packed a bunch of train stuff. Uh, where did I pack the train stuff? There's one, two, four, twelve, um, it's like twenty-two stacks. Let's change. Let's not put it in that chest. Let's just go for one chest of rail. Maybe it would be just easier at this point um, to give it space rail. No, I'm sure we've got rail over here. Yeah, we do. But if I give it space rail, we can use it in either situation. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Space rail. And then we need to add a request for that up here. How's our storage space? That is totally fine, actually. Alright, let's make sure our ship is still in motion. Limping along at a leisurely 197 speed. Uh, how long till we get to Varus 2? 12 minutes. Fantastic. I should definitely have another ship being built. And this time I'll wait for uh, the floor to be placed, so we don't lose any time. I think it's going to take another wave of bots. Or is this it? more stuff are we missing here? Just the prod modules, which should be getting delivered at some point. Here we go. Two hundred and eleven prods are on the way. Um, I kind of want to...
I'll get rid of these requests temporarily. It's not like I'm going to forget what the module box ship is for. Um, but this is the priority right now. And I think we're just about ready. Uh, we've got our thousand degrees here, fantastic. We've got water. Oh yeah, we have actually taken this ship for a test drive already, haven't we? Um, after what happened to our player ship, I am just a little bit concerned about the back of it here, so maybe I'll swap out a couple of these accumulators for lasers. It's not... well, yeah, I would rather... I would rather be cautious here. Let's do that. Cool. You know, I kind of hated having to put these pipes in like this earlier so that it would line up with our existing gantry but I don't mind this looking at it again it's kind of neat of course it would be neater if I guess we couldn't actually put the underground there it would have to be like that maybe then we wouldn't have another room for a four, uh, two by two Here, fantastic. And how much naquitite do we have? I assume every bit of it that comes to space is still getting immediately consumed. Yeah, this is a little bit less than enough for a train to pick it up. When was the last time we made science packs? By which I mean deep space science, because that's practically the only one that counts. Uh, 1.5 hours ago. And we made 2.7k at the time. Oh, we've still got like a thousand left over, at least. But we've probably done everything. Everything that doesn't cost a lot, and I do mean a lot, of deep space science packs. I guess we could do portable fusion reactor, but I'm just really not excited about this one. It's another 50% power from uh, from our portable reactors for power armor, but we've kind of got enough already. And it would be a pain to replace them, and they're incredibly expensive. Uh, prod 9s, I don't know if we're honestly ever going to actually make those. 1600 for these upgrades. We've already done the spaceship upgrades. I guess we could do antimatter reactor. We only need deep space science pack 2. Oh, I almost forgot. Um... Uh, we need to set the re uh, the threshold here significantly higher because if we take all of the uh, deep space science pack ones away to the mall uh, to the lab rather, then the uh, comparison here for we're just going to keep churning out pack ones with no pack twos, because it's only trying to read um, from these chests to make a decision. So 
So we'll say there has to be a thousand uh, Deep Space Science Pack 1s before we pick up from this station. Alright, uh, I think I will actually research the antimatter reactor. Jeez, it's so expensive though. I mean to actually build it. 50 times 8 Naquium plate. What, 400? 400 Naquium plate per reactor. And the weird thing is, uh, antimatter engines use 10 times less uh, energy than ion. So all of a sudden nuclear power is like way more than enough. And the only place that I particularly want a super-powered reactor is on a spaceship. I don't think the antimatter reactor is actually going to become relevant until we're trying to make like an end-game spaceship. And even then, you could probably just do it with nuclear or something. So, I don't really see anything to spend our Tier 1 Deep Space Science packs on at this point. How's our ship coming along? 1380 degrees. That's the main bottleneck. Oh! I stand corrected, we don't have enough booster tanks. Surprisingly enough. Um, are we still... We've got 32 of them here, so what's happening? I think it may actually just be... too many different things... Uh, that we're requesting all at once to get taken by train to this block, which is the same one as up here. I could just temporarily get... where are our spiders? Is it this one? No way over here. Uh, I could get one of the spiders to carry them. I might do that. And speaking of which, we're still dismantling the old base up here. Let's continue with that. That's a lot of steel. Arcosphere's ahead? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Chucky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's try and position these guys right on top of the container. Bots are faster, bots are exponentially faster the closer they are to their um, destination for moving items around. Can Spidertrons ride on spaceships or are they left behind? They can ride on spaceships. However, I'll demonstrate this right now. We've got 506 hull stress, uh, 196 container stress. If I put the Spidertron here, it's going to automatically recalculate. Uh, and now we're up to 566 and 296. So it's not like you can cheese it by using the Spidertron's trunk and defenses. Um, to get just infinite capacity or anything like that. But yeah, they absolutely can ride on a spaceship. Okay. Um, let's get you to request... Uh, 
empty meta booster tank. Where is it? I don't want to have to do this through um, auto trash because I'd have to like create a different uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Different set of requests just to make this one little adjustment. Here it is. Um, please pick up ten of those. And I'll just take that directly over to the new ship. And then I'll change the request back as soon as it gets there. I think in a future playthrough, um, I would like to build the mall around, or rather, build the mall in the middle of, or next to all of our gantries for making new spaceships, so that there's no need to deliver from here to here. It's not that much of a burden in the long run, but obviously when we do a new design like this that carries lots of different stuff, um, it's a bit of an issue. That is not much bigger than the old construction ship. All right. How are our spiders doing? They're looking a bit full. Let's send them back. The Arcosphere research was an interesting transition where I started playing with pen and paper almost more than with the game for a while. Wow. I'm kind of excited to see what kind of problem it is, really. Alright, so there's our tanks, finally. Uh, I think we're still going to fill these up before we get to 10k, but that's fine. Alright, so... Antimatter booster tanks, zero. Let the bots pick them up from here. Uh, was that it already? Yeah, it was. Oh, it was two bots. You just can't see them properly. Yep, there it is. Two bots. Alright. Um, we'll send them back to the mall. So I don't forget where they are. Hey, Whiskers. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Eight minutes to our rescues. Whose Twitch stream is this? What is this madness? An asymmetric ship. Um, it sort of kind of got hit by an asteroid at the very back. So I added a couple more laser turrets in the middle here. But I... I have spare uh, spaceship floor on me. I even put a little bit of extra spaceship wall in the ship just in case, slash because we might need to rescue other ships. Um, however, I don't have a spare antimatter engine on my person, unfortunately. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, and this is after... I mean, you've got a pretty good idea of how long we've been driving this ship around. Uh, like, hours and hours. And we've driven it through, you know, maximum density asteroids all the time. Uh, and after, I don't know how long this ship has been in service, uh, it finally got clipped by an asteroid at the very back, where the one laser turret here wasn't enough. Redesigned by nature? Yeah. I'm just gonna move my character up this way. We can pretend the ship is still symmetrical. Ah. 
Anyway. Um, how close are we to actually launching our construction ship here? I don't see any more bots in motion. Uh, that should be more than enough prods. I think we're ready. More than likely. Why don't we look at our outpost here and see if there's anything... Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, anything that we're not carrying... I think we've got it. Oh, spaceship clamps. That's definitely something. And while we're at it, we should... Um... You know what would be a good idea, actually, is to give this thing the tools to rescue other ships. But what I want to do with it in the short term is make a new outpost. Um, let's add spaceship floor. Spaceship wall. Spaceship clamp. And... I guess some... I I've never seen anything except for, like, a wall or, in this case, an engine actually get broken. Oh, and no, we can't use this remotely to rescue ships. We need to go there in person anyway, because of the way boarding works. There's no docking. Alright then. We're still receiving rail. Uh, how much pipe do we have here? Why don't we make it more? Uh, five stacks of each? Should be way more than enough. And don't forget some undergrounds. We've got pumps. Actually, I only see offshore pumps. Should probably be fine. What have we got here? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31 stacks. Um, 233, 37, plus 5, it's 43. We've gone over. I don't think we really need that many pipe to grounds, do we? Or regular pipe, for that matter. Probably. I'm not going to worry about emptying the excess right now. We've got way more than enough of everything there. Uh, but yeah, I think this will do. And if it's not enough, this thing should be more than fast enough. To come back in a reasonable time frame. Uh, let's rename the Falcon. And I keep calling my outposter ships construction ships anyway. So this is just going to be called construction ship. We still need to test. Uh, make sure that it's safe at this speed. Especially since it's got everything it needs to self-repair, uh, which might... I don't know if I would have to tell it engage again, 
or if it would get a bit of wall or something busted. That's uncomfortably close. Uh, get a bit of wall or something busted and then self-repair and then just start moving again. I almost don't want it to do that just because I wouldn't know that there's an issue. Accumulators are only kicking in periodically. That's quite good. Uh, we do have the solar power for now, though. Once we get to here, um, start heading out this way, it'll start to decrease. But I'm pretty sure the nuclear power is way more than enough anyway. So really, I want to see... Uh, I want to see this thing going maximum speed through some asteroid belts. Although, since it's heading out to Stardust, uh, there's kind of nothing in the way here. An asteroid field as well. If we go through an asteroid field, we get more of a rigorous test. Um, we will get a little bit of a test with it going through the asteroid belts, but that honestly is so brief that it's not... it doesn't really count. What's our speed? 190. I'm pretty happy with that for our construction ship. That's fine. And asteroid density is still at 100. We're only going to get, like, several seconds, honestly, of this thing going through the belt. Have I given it a speed signal? Yeah, I think I have. Yeah, our theoretical top speed that we're aiming for signal-wise is 200, so that's fine. It's only 200 asteroid density here, so that's even worse of a test. But, uh, yeah, it should be fine. Alright, we are four minutes from our rescue missions. And they're all nice and close together. Scaffolding spiders... seem to have been emptied. Let's get them to... continue... Recycling the old base. How much of this stuff is left? Zero chemical gel, a bit of lubricant. Lubricant's pretty cheap, but fluids in space. Uh, fluids in space are not free. But on the other hand, we're well past the point. What even takes lubricant? I'm sure there's something. Like, uh, mechanical science stuff? Yeah, 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 there it is, lubricant. It'll be a while before that stuff is in motion again, I think. Okay. So what's our ETA for the construction ship? I'm eager to get started making this new outpost. Uh, 17 minutes. It's longer than I thought it would be. By the way, are you running zone discovery researches, or have you found everything already? I haven't, actually. We've still got a few to go. Well, I don't know how many we have to go, but... I imagine there can't be that much more, just because... Uh... 
I don't think there's more stars to find, is there? Traxx. Is uranium, big bite of threat, tiny moon. Oh, it's a moon of Keto Bar. It's very, very small. Uh, not interested in that one. New Ranto. New Ranto. Iron, small moon. Kind of far from Nalvis. Waterless. Not interested in that. Falcon Saber. Uh, small ish. Vulcanite Moon. Really far from Nalvis. Waterless. Zomble? I thought it was Zombie for a second there. Fulminite. Moderate size. Uh, pretty close to Nalvis, actually. That's definitely worth a look. When and if we need more Holmanite. Theseus. Vitamelange. I don't think we're ever going to need to go outside of the solar system for Vitamelange in this uh, this say, playthrough. Loliento. Crude oil, small ish moon. Well, pretty small actually. Kind of far from Nalvis. Not interested in that. And then we have Kale. Uh, barrel. I think we already found a great barrel candidate recently. It's in Deadwood. Or oh, it's a moon of Deadwood. Uh, hardly any biters. Tiny moon. Not really worried about that one. Have you found anything peculiar? Yeah, we found a few things. Um, we've got... Let's see. Uh, we got Plato, which had just a bunch of ruins, which looked really low-tech, but inexplicably had a few Arcospheres. Uh, like maybe 20. Uh... Eleusis, kind of similar, but it was a fortress which destroyed our precious um, battleship. But we didn't really have a use for the battleship after that, so not that big of a deal. I can't delete surface on this because I've touched some of these containers and now they belong to me. Unless I go back and deconstruct everything. Uh, we've also got Heliolite with a big friendly spider that gave us prizes for doing math, basically. Uh, and I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, yeah. O N Estra. We've got a Stargate or something. But I need Naquium processors. I have no idea how many um, before we can jury rig this thing. And there was a big busted ship with various prizes, like uh, a whole bunch of a whole bunch of Naquium uh, solar panels and accumulators. Um, I think there were probably also some Arcospheres here. I don't actually remember. The wedding ring for space giants, indeed. Yeah, some very weird uh, schizotech here with like a absolutely gargantuan ship, Naquium uh, solar panels and stuff, but then we've got like gun turrets and what else? I think there was 
Maybe I picked it up already. I think there was some other stuff in here that was kind of weird. Barrels of chemical gel. Okay. Um, and I'm sure that is supposed to look like something. Like maybe out of Star Wars? Is that like the ship at the start of A New Hope? Maybe? I was trying to decipher the remaining circuits on that one, but couldn't figure out anything. Yeah, I actually don't remember if I looked at it too closely. Oh, I can act. Zero bit shift, zero output, nothing. Yeah, this is... I don't think this is actually doing anything. <laughs> zero plus zero output, nothing. S greater than zero output, C. I think it's... I think it's just for show. Idolum worm from Calamity mod? Calamity mod? Isn't that uh, Terraria? Guy clicking? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, how close are we to our destination? Uh, 100 seconds. Which is actually like three times that. But we've got several of these ships in basically the same place that just need to be given uranium fuel cells. This will be pretty easy. Construction ship is still 15 minutes out. Um, but I guess we haven't put it through maximum density asteroids for more than a few seconds, but um, we can be fairly confident that it's not going to have any problems. There are some numbers on the constant combinators. Yeah, I saw, um, I remember there was like, uh, a passcode number or something in there somewhere. This is it. And I tried like pasting that in somewhere, but I don't think it actually did anything. I'm pretty sure it was just, as soon as we got the text saying something about a passcode, something was unlocked. Alright, so what are we doing while we wait for our little trip here? Oh, we actually made enough um, Naquim here to fill up a train load with the sand. Same goes for the stone, not yet. That's cool. Alright, so the fact that we see some of these furnaces, the, the ratios are correct, but it takes a while to saturate. Um, the fact that we see some of these furnaces switched off tells us we're not going fast enough. But, like, we've got more than enough um, capacity on this end for a while. Uh, it really is... This mine is the bottleneck. I mean, we've got other mines for Naquium, but... It would be an exaggeration to say that I don't care about them anymore, but really we're just going to let them run their course and we're going to keep uh, keep pushing with the new one this one in particular is quite slow by comparison which is unsurprising Okay. 
two seconds. Where's our spiders up here? Let's keep going with removing old stuff and replacing replacing big designs with their equivalent with better beacons and modules so it uses fewer machines and so on. That's how we've got our UPS back up to 22 when it got down to like 19. Even though our throughput keeps increasing. That might be too much already. Ah, uh, maybe not. I really want to get to designing arcospheres. We just need 200 Deep Space Science 2. That's actually really small. Um, can we maybe force it a bit? We've probably got... We've got everything but broad deep space catalog. Uh, here we've only got annihilation data, which is doesn't even require naquitite, if I recall. Annihilation data does indeed not require naquitite. That'll be saturated until the end of time. Uh, looks like we're about to get some more. Hyper lattice data. I don't know if we've ever had a delivery of that here yet. Looks like we haven't. And then uh, singularity data is looking for Naquium cubes. And this thing is also looking for Naquin cubes. Uh, I could increase the priorities. Alright, so we do have Naquin cubes coming in. I'm pretty sure I already bumped up the priority on this one. Because a lot of stuff depends on it. It's a slightly lower priority than the plate for Deep Space Science 1. Come to think of it, I could probably reduce the request on this. Let's say 6,000. Uh, sure, 6,400. Two train loads. And then... Uh, bump these up in priority a bit, at least for now. By a bit, I mean a lot. Maybe I should... How many chests do we have here? Eight. Maybe, at least for now, I should have limited all these to, like, spit out one train load of data to go into the rail network. But as our throughput increases, it's all gonna not matter so much anyway. 24 plate makes 6. So, 4 plate makes 1 hyper lattice data. Stack size of 20. We get five data cards, one tenth of a stack for each stack of Naquium plate. So we need 10 train loads of Naquium plate before this is going to get picked up automatically. But on the other hand, we actually only need literally 200 uh, data, I think. So we might stop that one temporarily. Yeah. Um, let's set... I kind of don't want to stop this until the plate runs out though. Uh, I don't want to trigger a delivery until then, that is. 
Is that cubes? It is. Why is it only 12? Probably because I set the pickup threshold down here so low. So that we would get our cubes going to the mall. So that we could keep making antimatter engines. So that we could keep getting more Nacrotite. Um, yeah, I think I would rather just force it to give us 200 uh, Deep Space Science Pack 2s as quickly as possible. Then I'll change everything back. Also, speaking of travel, Foenestra has some really interesting distances from other things. Yeah, it fluctuates all over the place. Like the ETA just goes haywire when you set that as your destination. Or to save. What have I set the autosave threshold to? Uh, other? 60 minutes. Okay. Probably take a break in about half an hour. Or when we see the next autosave. Nine cubes. That's hardly... Hardly worth a delivery. How many of these do we have? 210. Alright, let's trigger a delivery here. I'm just going to set the provide stack threshold temporarily to 1. And as soon as that light goes yellow, I'll change it back. Should only be a few more seconds. Singularity data. Provide stack threshold one. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. If I recall correctly, the total travel time is for a given ship constant to and from anywhere. That's weird. So it's basically like in another dimension. Alright, if we're not going to need that one desperately... I think I'll change that back. What is this? Hyper lattice data. Oh yeah, I wanted to just let this empty. I guess it really doesn't matter. Let's trigger this delivery. So that is Hyper Lattice and Singularity Data. And I think we only need like 200 of this as well. Let's change that. Cool. I think we've actually got all the data cards we need to unlock Arcosphere Collection. We just need a few deliveries to happen. There it is. Just waiting on this one, and it's already good. Alright, so we should already have... What's... What's... What? Oh... I forgot to copy this across. Glad I was paying attention to that one. Although I guess the train would have just stayed here indefinitely. Uh, with the LTN settings that I changed, it wouldn't have just gone back to the depot after two minutes or something. So now we have three. Wait, no, two. Where's the cryonite? 
Um, hold on. I think I forgot. When I copied this from... Where was it? When I copied this design... I forgot to make this a... Bryanite drop-off. And for a minute there I thought one source of cryonite was going everywhere. I could still do that, but this is fine. Alright, so we have three of our four data cards, and I believe my Pilatus data is on its way. That's an empty train. My Pilatus data, there we go. We have 5.4k, actually. Hey, Mucky. Good to see you again. A oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so this will be our first uh, broad deep space catalog. We'll need to set... Uh, where is it? Where's the output? It's here. I'll need to set the... Uh, Provide stack threshold for this one. Nice and low as well. So we get our precious little deep space science packs. Without further ado. There it is. And we're actually just waiting on the cryonite. Which is... Just being picked up. All right, let's check in on... I need to take some nuclear fuel here. Board Varus 2. I kind of wish I had done more uh, scanning before I picked Varus for where we would get our Iridite from. I'm sure... Uh, I'm sure we have a few candidates that I could have found with no biters. Yeah, Keto Bar in particular, there were no biters in the first place. Uh, but this is fine. I probably defunct this in the not too distant future. Um, let's give you. Why not a stack? Oh, right. Just have to manually put that in there. That should be way more than enough. Back to our ship. And it was Varus 2, wasn't it? You can now go back to Nalvis orbit. I mean Nalvis. Cool. Which one's next, I wonder? Uh, it would appear to be Varus 5. And I also need to set Varus 5 to try to reach this ship. Otherwise we'll never get there. Okay. So we have... We have broad catalogs. Products finished. Uh, 20 something. We are 10% of the way to getting our Arcosphere collection going.
I did set everything up already to collect Arcospheres. Oh, we need to actually make the Arcosphere collectors, which I can't do until this research is finished. Um, but yeah, we've got... We're using the exact same outpost as this thing, because uh, Interstellar Void data and Arcospheres both come from launching probes from a asteroid field. Um... So I, I'm basically using the outpost that we've already got here. Uh, the space probe rocket silo just takes different inputs to do the same thing. The challenge with this, though, is it was already set up to do very precise things, whereby uh, two interstellar void probes would come out to 20 stacks of... Uh, spe uh, what do you call it? Interstellar Void Probe Data. Uh, and since we're using set requests, we use the robot network minus what's in certain chests to figure out what's in the ship. Um, and we know exactly when to launch our ship this way. Uh, so... Because Arcospheres actually give us diminishing returns, we don't know programmatically how many Arcospheres we're getting from each probe. So what I did so that both of those will work is we still have, if we get 40k interstellar void probe data, we take off. Um, but we've also got some timers, basically. We're saying... Let's see. Green wire. That's just the contents of the chests. We're not actually using that this time. Read hand contents pulse. Uh, if anything detected in the inserters, reset the timer. If everything equals zero from the spaceship, if there's no spaceship here, reset the timer. And if anything greater than zero... Wait, what? If anything greater than zero... Spaceship... Oh, and if... Okay, so yeah, spaceship is the, like, timer signal. If anything greater than zero... If there's a ship here... Turn this into a constant combinator, basically. For one spaceship. And then... This memory cell outputs input count spaceship. And then finally, if the spaceship has been here for 18,000 ticks, then we want it to go back home. But I guess that's resetting every time. Yeah, 18,000, that's a bit excessive. I did say when I built this that I wanted to be super careful. Um, that it wouldn't go home early. We'll observe the first time it comes out here, hopefully, and see what number this gets up to before it does another cycle of launching a probe and getting potentially getting Arcospheres out of it. I guess, actually, if it's possible to get zero Arcospheres from a probe rocket launch, then we probably should have a pretty large timer on this. Uh, but yeah, we've actually already done all of the work, unless there's a bug in the system, which is likely. Um, we, we've done the logistics before actually having uh, the Arcosphere research done. All right, let's rescue our next ship. Uh, turn this off. A wild logistic bot appears. No, wait, don't take, don't take my Arcospheres, please. 
or anything else for that matter. Luckily, they're moving very slowly. Uh, fuel, fuel. That's the wrong chest. No, no, it isn't. Why is it full? Um, fuel. You know what? That'll get it home. Wait, are they trying to... No, they are trying to take my logistic trash. Okay, I just want to put another stack in here. Don't know why that chest is full, though. I guess I'll just swap this out. Alright, board bullet. Fantastic. And I believe that was Varus 5. That would be it. Please go to Nalvis. Poor parts. Yeah, they'll be fine. A Morpheus. Good to see you again. Oh, well, you're welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, which ship is next? It's Varus 1 and then Varus 4, I think. Varus 1. I like it when I can type the whole thing with my left hand. Uh, this needs to be aimed at bullet. Otherwise, we'll never catch it, even though it's moving at the minimum speed. And then, I really want to see our uh, broad catalogs getting delivered, if I can. How many do we have? 109? Did I miss something? Singularity data. I thought we had over 200 for each of these. We've got 17 here. Um, okay. Priority, all of it. Uh, let's say provide stack threshold. How many are we missing? We just need 91. So two stacks. And I'm guessing we've used up all our recently delivered Naquitite. Ah, uh, so close. I guess I could force a delivery... No, wait, that's ingots. How much Naquium cube do we actually need to make this happen? Um, was it this one? Wait, I didn't change the wrong one, did I? Uh, quite possibly. Time-space anomaly data. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for singularity data. We're so close. So, if we have 17... We need 74 more... Wait, there's no thermo fluid here. What? Oh. Well, that's like... I think it's three more Naquium. I mean, uh, Singularity data. If one Naquium cube goes in, 50% of the time we get Naquium cube, 50% of the time we get Singularity data. 
Um, does that translate to one Naquin cube equals one singularity data? Not entirely sure. Anyway, I'll get the spiders to pay this a visit. Um, but yeah, uh, okay, call that three more. Uh, we need 71 cubes here, I think. And that's like 71 times 16. Uh, we need like 1.1k plate, which I don't think we've got here. We've got 50 something times 24. No, we've definitely got enough. All right. Uh, I'm pretty sure I already put the priority of this thing pretty high. In fact, I'm going to set it even higher than the sides. Uh, if we just trigger a delivery of Aquium Plate, that should be all it takes for us to get our signs. I'm looking forward to it. That wrecked my brain quite a bit when I set it up. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard stories. All right, our train is on the way. So that should end up giving us our first 200 deep space science pack tier 2, I think. Oh, we're also waiting on catalog 1, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> We might actually be so much further from this than I thought. Naquium energy data. Uh, we are making it right now. Okay. That's actually not that far off. We've just got like half a chest or so before that automatically delivers. Oh, here's hoping. We, uh, have arrived. Hopefully we don't have bots chasing us for stone or anything this time. We do. Well, they're trying to give us the iridite, I think. And... board. Next on our list is Varus 4, I believe. And Varus 1, back to Nervous, please. I need to click Engage. Uh, it's already warm enough to get power. It might actually be overflowed on water. I'm surprised just one of these is having issues with too much water. That seems odd. That should probably be enough for it to sort itself out. Managed to build a so-so system with lots of alert loudspeakers in case anything got out of hand, but then found out an ideal closed system should be mathematically possible. Oh, with the uh, Arcospheres? We'll try that in my next playthrough. Nice. Uh, I'm pretty sure Varus 3 is also stranded. Yep. Okay. 
Okay. Did we get our... We did. We've got our Naquim cubes on the way here. Fantastic. So that's going to be all of the tier 2 stuff. Um, and now we just need to make sure we get some Naquim energy data delivered. How much do we have of everything else, actually? Actually, how many catalogs do we even need to make Deep Space Science Pack 2 requires two Deep Space Science Pack 1, which is what we get out of one recipe here. So one of each. So we only need like 200 um, catalogs. We can probably just... Oh, there's actually zero here. Okay, never mind. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna guess that everything else is, like, more than zero. Yeah, I think we can just trigger this delivery right now. And that'll give us, um, probably, I was gonna say close to 8,000, but... Surely one of these other resources is relatively low. Nope, not even a little bit. So we're going to get 6.5k Deep Space Science Catalog 1 out of this. Uh, which is way more than we need. Just for the moment. Um, shouldn't we have... There's not a whole lot of time-space anomaly data here either. There's some on the belt, though. I don't think it's enough to get across the line. Okay, I think we can drop that priority now. I want Arcospheres. Alright, we have arrived. Why do I have a... 21st portable RT... Oh, that's why. Nope, 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 nope. Do not take my random stuff, please. Actually, it probably wouldn't be that bad if they did. But I would prefer not to. Odd bullet. Take the free resources. And I think that was probably... What are all these ships doing? There's so many coming in right now. Just by coincidence, mostly. Uh, I think that's all of them. Is Varus 4 in motion? Oh. Uh, we didn't fix Varus 4. Paris 3 needs to be given a destination of Nelvis. And you're not overfilled on water. Fantastic. Actually, these pumps might actually be a problem. Because... Yeah, I see now why it seems to be overfilled with water. The pumps were supposed to help, but because they require power, uh, we've got this part completely filled with water. So the turbines, uh, the condenser turbines can't move. Even though the heat is building up for our heat exchangers. 
Um, so we're getting plenty of steam. That's weird. We didn't just make this steam, right? Oh no, I guess we probably did. How about Varus 5? Varus 5 also needs help. Alright, let's grab some more uranium. And then. I see a delivery. Wait, what? You're looking for Naquium energy data. Oh, it just was still being loaded. Okay, that's fine. Oh. That should be everything. Back to the mall with you. And you are very full. Back to the mall with you as well. We still need singularity data. What do we have here? 48. It's not a lot. I think we're waiting on another delivery before we can get enough cubes, actually. But I have prioritized. No, I haven't. Because I thought that was done. Do we have Naquium Plate uh, somewhat ready to launch? Not really. I think I'd rather... I don't want to launch this and then find out that's still not enough. Let's wait just a little bit longer. There should be a train load. Uh, stack size 20. 3.2k. We got 2.7 and uh, 2.4 over here. How fast are we making it? Well, we're trying to match the ingots. How fast are we making ingots? 2.31 per second? Cut that in like half. Are we really getting, like, one plate per second? Um, 348 per minute, not so much. Okay, we have just about arrived. Oh, I think I need to tell... Yeah, zero seconds at current speed. Destination, Varus 4. Varus 4. Target is Nalvis. Um, and it's moving at a speed of 0.37. But because that's not zero, um, we'll just never catch up to it somehow. Uh, so, Varus 4. Target is a ship and now we can board and dodge the bots whoops dodge the ship as well I suppose put a little bit of nuclear fuel in don't know why that's full and then board bullet. Oh. Cool. Um, and then Varus for destination. Alvis. I think that's all of them. Not that we really needed those ships in motion again, but I would rather 
either keep them working or deconstruct them. Uh, let's head back to Nalvis for now. We've still got some ships to rescue, but we need, um, we need to bring, uh, space assembly machines and water barrels, because these have actually somehow run out of water. I believe it was from when we had low power at Morpheus, although I wouldn't have expected... I wouldn't have expected to actually run out of water because of that. Maybe it was because Morpheus was running off of the ship's power as well. Um, but yeah, we forgot to give this thing heat for a while. So that became a little bit of a problem. So where are we at now? I see catalogs. I see a train coming to pick up catalogs. Oh, we already did that. And now we're picking up more because I set such a small stack size. Uh, we've got deep space science pack ones. We've got a few in the chest here. And we're just waiting to give these to... We're just waiting on the broad catalogs now. Cool. What are we up to? 109. Um, I think we're still waiting for... It's just the singularity data now, isn't it? Yep. So as soon as we get... How much would it actually take? Um... A bit over 50. Let's say this. 960 plate. That should probably... Let's, let's check how much is in this ship. Uh, we've got 1.8k. If I launch this early, it should be more than enough. Plastic. Did I change the pickup threshold? I did. Okay. Hopefully we'll be hearing that doop -ba doop soon. 23 minutes to now this orbit. Uh, wait, did we not rescue all of these? Varus 5, Varus 4, whoops. I thought we did rescue Varus 4. Let's have a look. Uh, we did. It's got heat. It's got the same water problem as before. There we go. Varus 5, however. Actually, maybe we did rescue it and it's got a similar issue. Yeah, we've got heat here. There it goes. Alright, let's turn around again, I guess. Elvis Orbit. Wasted a few seconds of fuel there. I'm sure we'll get back, though. Trying to look here. Where's our plate? Here it comes. Only 72 of it. That's not going to cut it. I think that was probably scheduled before the ship even got here. Yep. 
That's also going... The rest of this is also going to cubes. Cool. Some of those wagons are full, apparently. No, I think it was just scheduled to not pick up. Oh, that's kind of funny, actually. So I think... Because LTN was scheduled to pick up what's in these chests, and we had the inserters sticking out with some of this plate, I think this was scheduled to pick up a specific amount. Uh, and then as soon as it had it, it left, so we've still got inserters holding onto plate there. That's what I want to see. Or more to the point, that is a prerequisite to what I want to see. There are many, many prerequisites. Uh, where's our construction ship? I think it's arrived. It's not busted or anything. Nope, anchor to, anchor to Stardust. Fantastic. Alright, so we're going to be going... I think I made a boo-boo. Uh, do we have... Both of these are aimed at Stardust. Yeah, no, I think we already have it. Uh, I aimed both of those energy beams at this one, just to warm it up faster, initially. Uh, but we've actually got two emitters aimed at that power plant. It probably wouldn't hurt to come back here and add another one. Um, unless... Energy beam emitter, injector, platform... We've got everything we need except for more power. I'll have the construction ship come back here on the way back, but this'll this'll do for now. So we're gonna have you anchor right about here. It's smaller than I thought. Maybe I should actually plan this out a bit more first. Um, probably start with a beacon in the middle, actually. Let's say we put that there. almost covers it. If I move all of this over one tile, we don't need some more over this way. But then again, we want the throughput anyway. Don't need that one in particular. really need those two. We'll add the extra ones if we have spares. That fits perfectly actually. Pretty sure that doesn't reach. Um, definitely need one more. It's gonna have to have a bit of underground pipe or something. That 
actually is a perfect fit. And we also need one more just to pick that stuff up. I think I will just add another mine or two over here. So what are we up to? 50. Uh, and we need 250 prods, I believe. Isn't that like exactly what we brought? We've got 207. Uh, okay. That's a little awkward for the moment, but I think we'll go with basically this exact layout, but we'll just um, cut out some of the mines in the meantime. Also, that bit's not covered either. Anyway, that is about where our mine is. We also need a power plant. Um, I was thinking about putting it alongside where the ship is going to land. So that we could just pump water straight into it. But I don't know if I want to worry about that, to be honest. Uh, why don't we put this around about here? And is everything under this beacon? Not even close, but... Um, most of it is? These ones down here should be. Maybe even these ones up here. It might actually be close enough. Alright, so let's aim our energy beam ahead of time. And what else do we actually need? Some chests, some robots. Oh, we need um, point defenses. And of course we need to get the sulfuric acid out of the ship and so on. start with this for now. Probably has more coverage than I would have realized. All right, let's land our ship. Or anchor, rather. I want the... I want our ships to anchor about here, I think. Actually, let me be absolutely sure. We're gonna have room. Yeah, that's a that's almost exactly as big as I thought it was. That's fine. Alright, so you can land around about here. We don't need to worry that we're gonna mine without prods because we don't have sulfuric acid. Um I'll put a storage chest. Actually, I actually filled up all of these chests, didn't I? I could make that one a storage chest. Oh, wow range on that construction from the construction pylon is pretty great, actually. Alright, um, let's temporarily 
Next this up. Oh, this is actually charging already because it's under this thing. We don't have any minimum consumption uh, from the big mining drills, but there is the uh, beacon. to consider. Passive, provide a chest. Actually, we are going to be needing to read from these. So let's do that with our copy paste. Perfect. And one down here as well. Can the wire reach across here? I don't think it does, does it? Ah, uh, that is frustratingly close. Oh wait, I can just... connect it via this and mode of operation nothing on the drill. We'll check those are all connected. That seems fine. This is probably going to be too far. Not quite. It's one tail off max distance. Okay. Uh... All right, so we're short, what? Um, tower ghosts, no? Oh, I need to use module inserter to check this. What the? I must have copy pasted the wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I copy-pasted a certain set of mining drills that had at least one tier 6 module in them. So that's a little bit off. So, we need 43... Uh, that's 8, 9. We need to get rid of 9 big mining drills for the moment just to make sure we don't have any reduced productivities. Uh, so I guess one, two, three, four, five. Those are all connected pipe-wise still, I think. Oh, the, these ones aren't connected anyway. Not yet. Uh, we were up to five, weren't we? Six. Also, that's got effect sources. Oh, we don't have power for this yet, do we? Also, it doesn't have modules. Uh, why don't we give it some modules? Tier 6 modules... Actually, I think I just messed up the tier 3 ones. No, I didn't save it. Oh my, this is embarrassing. I just learned that you can connect drills to circuits. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you've been able to do that for a while, except I think they added some more functionality since the last time I noticed. Um, the fact that you can enable or disable a drill. But you could always do these two, or at least we've been able to do these two for a very long time, I think. Um, the only trouble is... If you can, if you connect all of them and read this mining drill, uh, it'll do 
like all of the overlaps, it'll give you a higher estimate, much higher estimate than it should, uh, than, than is accurate rather. But if you go, if you read from one drill and say entire resource patch, you'd better pick the one drill that's in the densest part. Um, otherwise it's going to run out before... You're going to lose the signal before you run out of mine in that case. Um, but it's probably fine if you just add them all up. If, if you're just trying to tell if there's resources left. Makes sense, yep. Uh, Alright, we still need to remove some of these. How about this one? And well, it... I want to still have full coverage if possible while we use uh, only the mines that we need. Oh, we already marked that one. Are the bots having trouble? Not really. Uh, we are gaining heat here very, very slowly. We need 5,000 before it's of any use. Also, uh, I remembered this earlier, but I forgot. I, I need to... Oh, no, we did. We did bring ice. Because it was already in this request. Fantastic. I don't see any ice in easy reach. Oh, that's somewhat easy reach. I won't worry about it just yet. Uh, so we need to put down a biochemical facility. And that's actually in kind of an awkward spot. Um, I could put it over here, but it's going to be further from the ship. You know what? Here should be fine, actually. I'm going to put in a request right about there. Gonna melt water, melt ice rather, and we're gonna make sure that there's room in this storage tank. And a full chest of ice, but because why not? Oh. Did we get... I think we did. Yeah, we should have some prods remaining. Uh, wrong thing that I'm searching. We've got two left over. Okay, we can't make a full mine out of that, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I th think here would be... Well, we can actually do it like this. That's going to connect. Should be fine. Nope. Um, I guess we'll connect this up here. Ten tiles. And 
and then this one. That should be everything. Uh, and we want to copy the same clamp ID that we have over here. I want to be careful about this, though, because the moment that I put this down, our ship is going to arrive. So I want to be absolutely sure it's in a place that I'm satisfied with. This should be fine. Uh, can we get the sulfuric acid tank to just line up somewhere, though? I don't think so. I could turn this one around, though. I want to be able to put this mine in here. Um... I think the piping is just going to have to be a little bit more awkward than it otherwise would be. Because I don't... Uh, I don't want the ship to be further away from the chests than it needs to be. And I'll just double check, but I think I ditched having storage chests here. Because otherwise we would end up with bots in motion all the time, and the way that the logistic network contents get read, it gives a negative when bots are moving things around. Which throws off our signal to launch. So, I guess we'll put this... Right about here. And that was quick. Alright, so we've got our sulfuric acid now. Um, I just noticed it's going to be a nuisance. The shields, that is. Uh, I could do the pipe down this way, I suppose. That's slightly annoying. How about this? That doesn't reach. Okay, two fives. And then we need a pump, actually. We don't really need a pump, but I think I would prefer to have a pump. And a couple of storage tanks here, because why not? Don't need a condition on this one. Cool. Oh, what's our coverage? Uh, yeah, better than expected. With the media point defenses. These four almost cover everything already. What the? No, don't go to quick charge mode. Might be cutting it a little bit close. Um, with our ship up here. On our robo network. Uh, it's a little hard to tell because of 
the radar construction pylon that's not going to be here later. So I might swap that out for the moment. Um, and then we need to do the math. There were two logistic, uh, two robot network things here. Oh right, that was just for the bots and stuff. Well, we'll definitely need one of those. And I may as well put it somewhere like this. Actually, here is good. And then this other one, I'm pretty sure, is just read logistic network contents. Uh, why did I have the red wire? Naquitite times negative one. That's from the chests. And that's on the red wire. Red wire goes to here. Oh, the green wire isn't used anymore. That was going to the storage chests. So it was just the same green wire as this one. We're just not going to use storage chests here. Alright, cool. Very straightforward. Um, Roboport. Somewhere like this. And I'll check once more. All of those chests are connected. We need an arithmetic combinator to multiply that by negative one. We'll need a pylon. And one over here would be nice. Definitely gonna redo these wires. What a mess. Alright, so green wire is reading from all of the chests. Uh, Naquitite times negative one. Output as Naquitite. Read logistic network contents, um, add those two together, and we know how much Naquitite is in our ship. That's going to go to this combinator, actually. I might just move this island substation. just so it's a bit clearer. Disconnect a couple of wires on that. In fact, on all of these. want nothing connect, uh, connected to our construction ship for now. Make sure... Uh, make sure everything is going to be able to stand on its own. That looks pretty good, actually. that can actually connect to the ship, that's fine. Okay. So we've got... If Naquitite... 
can't actually see how much we've got. There's too many other things in the robot network right now. Hey, repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Just going to do this real quick. We're going to multiply Naquitite by one and see what we have. Uh, 305. No, we've got negative... Wait, what? Negative 304,000? Oh, because I left this on read resources, this mining drill. Uh, glad I checked that. 3.5k, that sounds like about what is probably in this ship right now. But I will just double check that everywhere that we've connected to one of these, we're not reading any resources. Alright, so once this chip has over 15.8k, uh, it should take off. Um, this outpost won't be able to power itself until it gets to 5,000 degrees. So, until then, it's not going to have power unless a ship is here. I'm actually almost surprised uh, that this was so easy to get going. I thought there'd be another little hiccup or two. But I guess it helps when we can copy-paste, right? Not to mention the familiarity with it. Oh yeah, we should definitely put in some superchargers. Uh, preferably right between the mine and the ship. So that the shortest path for the bots to recharge is to go to the supercharger. Okay, looking pretty good. Uh, why don't... oh. I can't remotely turn this off and on. I guess if I mark it for deconstruction and then put it back... As soon as this is... yep, there we go. That should be fine. Alright, so what's our rate? We've got nothing but speed modules in here. That might be a bit much power-wise. Uh, this thing's using some tier 9s, so we're not going to be copying that one right now. That is not the mine I'm looking for. So each of these are using 11.5 megawatts. That seems a little excessive. I think it's... actually it's quicker if we do it this way. Efficiencies, and then speed. Seven speed modules, I think, is the limit where we still get low power consumption. Negative 80%. How about one more speed? And then we get uh, plus 1900. Wait, what? The butts are being a bit weird about how they swap that out. 
plus a hundred percent. Okay, no, we're definitely going for negative eighty percent there. All right, so basically about ten megawatts uh, is what this whole outpost is going to cost to run. It's just the beacon, really. Uh, we already went through all of the ice that we brought here. Products finished. 800. That was surprisingly quick. Especially for a yellow inserter. But each ice represents 100 water. It's going to take a long time for this to run out. Anyway, the uh, the next ship is going to bring another stack of ice. So I think all that's left to do now is head back to Hankerus and add some more solar power and another beam. We don't really need another beam to keep this ship warm, uh, but I would prefer to have it um, just to be safe. Feels like there should have been a little bit more involved in setting this up, but... Well, our construction ship is nice and fast now. So, if there's anything that I missed, uh, we can just bring it back. Guess we'll pick that up. Oh, uh, we need a roboport that can reach down here, just because of that ice. Unless I wanted to squeeze this all the way down. Not really. Alright, so I'll just double check Hankerous Orbit is where we're going. It is. And where are we? Nine, ten minutes out from Nervous Orbit. Cool. So where's our science? Um, we're still making catalog ones. I'm not overly surprised by that. We still need singularity data. How much do we have? 63? We got, like, 10 or 12 more singularity data made in that last delivery. I think... Oh. Where are you going with that? Oh, it's going to the sides. Uh... I may have forgotten we need Nacrium Cubes for the Tier 2 Science Packs. One Nacrium Cube, it's only, it's only 200. Uh, I think it's times 16 plate, 3200, that's kind of a lot. Okay. Um... I'm just going to switch that off until we've got the other prerequisite. I'll just have this train go where it wants to go first. Alright, uh, I think now is as good a time as any for a little break. Let's get some words on stream. And autopilot. Uh, let me make absolutely sure we've got the right URL. Oh. It, it. Words, indeed. Alright, let's fire up 
LTN screensaver. And 30 seconds, and it'll be words on stream. And I'll be back in a few minutes. Have fun. Nope.
Okay. How'd y'all do? Skip three levels. Nice. Oop. Let's continue with the Factorio. Fantastic. All right. Um, we are still six minutes out from Narvis orbit. Personally, the construction ship is actually less than halfway to Hankerus. I mean, it has only been a few minutes. How are we doing? We've almost loaded up our first ship here. What's our throughput at this mine for the moment? Um, 16 per second. That's more than I thought. What do we got? 40 mines here? Versus... Max rate would be 30 per second. Okay, I forgot how fast this one is. So we're not, we haven't, we're not doubling this just yet. I'll definitely tap the Nacrotite over here as well. And maybe these patches over here. Maybe not this far. Uh, maybe. Think about it. Um, I forgot that we don't have a storage chest over here. So that's going to have to wait. Poor little bot's going to hover there for a while. Oh, we're also missing... We're also missing a storage tank here. I don't think it actually matters. But yeah, this little gap in uh, in the surface. I I'm pretty sure fluid system contents 80k. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same loop of water, even though there's a break here. The same set of containers that won't actually cause any problems. Um, but that said, we do have some scaffolding. I think we should also have some spare... Nope, don't. Well, I can put this here for when the construction ship comes back anyway. How close are we getting to the ever-elusive science? Um, just one cube makes four deep space science packs, and we need 200, so 50? I, I dare say we've got 50 just on the belt here, um, so that won't be an issue. In fact, I might just temporarily get rid of the Naquium cube request for this. We just want all of our cubes to come over here. We just, we literally need like um, 30 of these singularity data. Come to think of it, if I was there physically, um, we've got enough that I could just take. I'm pretty sure we have enough that I could just take these cubes from these chests, take them over here, and that would give us our Arcosphere collection. Uh, research complete. That is a decent amount of plate. That might actually get the job done. Here's hoping. Just five minutes and we can fix our ship at last. 
Uh, and we need to get together some barrels of water. We can do that quite easily over here. Do we have barrels here? I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah, we do. So let's add requester and some storage. Uh, fill water barrel. Uh, that's not right. Don't do that, actually. For a second I thought I could maybe shift-click the output. Um, I think I would have probably noticed um, that we can do that by now. The question is, how much water do we actually need to get these ships home? Um... I know they normally carry many times the amount of water that's required to reach that destination. Maybe not... Hmm. This might actually be a problem. Um... Because ion engines use so much energy. Well, we won't know until we try. This thing bottlenecks on power because we've got enough to support the ion engines and a little bit more, but the lasers consume too much power and then it slows down to stay safe. Um, so we've got like 5.82 times 4 megawatts. 80... Max, max throughput of water is 80 per second, and we lose 1% um, of it. Or is it... Yeah, 1% of it. Per cycle. The question isn't so much how much power do we get, as how long it takes this ship normally to get back. Uh, and I don't really know right now. Deadwood 8 is the same design. It's used up like 4,000 water on this trip, and I think it does get its water resupplied uh, down here. No, it actually doesn't. Oh, yes, it does. Okay. Although it does stop at a little bit more than 24,500 per tank. Um, so if Capellus to Calidus is a few thousand water, that might actually be a problem. We might have to use ice. That might not be that difficult, actually. about the same distance. So let's look at the one that's furthest back, Morpheus 4. It's going to need, say, 3,000 water in barrels of 50, stacks of 10, uh, 6 stacks, 6, 12, 24, just to be on the safe side, we need, like, a chest full of water barrels. That's not actually that bad. I think I will do the water barrels. Um, it's just going to be a little bit easier. So... Yes, we're waiting on water to be delivered here. Can we get water with a short train right now? There we go. And I should probably copy that over here as well. Do 
we have a short fluid tr uh, wagon. There it goes. Cool. So hopefully by the time I get back, um, we should have most of the water that we're going to need. This thing is well and truly ready to get going. Did I name it? I did not. Um, Stardust. I think this is Stardust 11. It is. Uh, and it does have... Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I send it, let's add a request for green chests and that's going that's going to allow it to self upgrade once we're ready to upgrade all of these ships at the same time do you have a blueprint book we can use uh yep there's a whole bunch of stuff i've posted on factorio prints and there's also uh, a channel on the Discord. And if there's anything in particular that you'd like, uh, that you'd like a blueprint for, that I haven't posted yet, I'm happy to add that as well. Awesome, thanks, no worries. Three minutes till we reach our destination. Oh, how's our Naquium looking? I see a train. Wait, what did it just drop off? It dropped off 10 Naquium cubes. Keep it up. Uh, thank you. Sheep say meh. Much appreciated. Thank you very much for the Prime sub. Three months. Uh, can't really express how much gratitude I have for that. Um, especially especially my consistent subscribers. Thank you very much. And I will do my best. Alright, I see a few on the belt, but it's not going to last. And uh, Nightfly, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so we need a whopping 30-ish singularity data. I think we literally need like 20. How much is this bringing? Seven. This would probably be a good opportunity to see if I'm right about one cube equals one data. Wait, I see a cube here. Wait, why do... Oh. Oh. Hello. Uh, so I need to connect 25 degree thermofluid output for that one and then we're going to get like probably all the data that we need right now but before I do I'd like to see if we get seven data out of these seven cubes no this is throwing it off ah oh, rip this one as well There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, no, this one. This one does have the 25 degree thermofluid output. Um, it's all the ones on the side here. Uh, in fact, we never did the 25 degree thermofluid connections properly. We're just now finding out because we've had so few resources go through this block in particular. I'm a little bit surprised by that. We've got all time. Yeah, we've actually only made 300 singularity data. Okay. How are we going to lay this out? That bit's a little bit unfortunate. How about up here? There's plenty of room. 
we're doing thermo fluid output on the sides and the middle. Maybe maybe something like this. That's gonna be a little bit awkward no matter how we do it. Unless maybe this. And then six tiles, that's unfortunate. How about nine, 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 and three? Sure, whatever. And it should be the same distance over here. So now all of our thermo fluid can come out this way. Um, that might not be the best. It might. Mm. I could move this combinator for the neatest possible fluid output here. Or I could do something different with the pipes. I think I'll move the combinator. Much as it pains me to break our usual pattern. Unless... No, we've got room for the undergrounds there. It's fine. Alright. Um, we'll get this out of the way. This can go here. And that's actually a really good fit. Spiders are arriving. I did fix... yeah, I did. Change that little one-off request from before. So, actually, a whole bunch of these have... We've, we've actually got quite a few Naquim cubes. Because we're doing the direct swap method to deal with the recycled uh, Naquim cubes here. So, I think we're about to get our final burst of Singularity data before we can get uh, Arcospheres unlocked. Fantastic. Oh yeah, that's definitely more than like the 30 that we need. Yep, there it is. Let's make absolutely sure... Uh, 9.1k... Everywhere we click on these pipes it gives us the same amount of thermofluid. I almost said, wait, I forgot to connect these ones, but no, they're all connected on the side for the thermofluid output. In much the same way, they're all connected on the side for particle stream input. It's only negative 273 degree thermofluid that needs to come in north-south. And that will be the last few catalogs we need. And finally, we can get some tier 2 deep space sites. Arcosphere hype, indeed. Chen, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I've got this floor on me personally, so we can just do this like that. And that's our ship fixed. Um, does this thing have the buffer chests? Yes, it does. That'll be fine. Stardust 11. Off you go. Wait, no, don't go to Nalvis Orbit. Oh, it's going to clamp here, isn't it? Maybe not. Probably waiting for me to click engage. No? Wait, what? Anchor 372. I don't think... This one is anchor 37. It is, actually. 
I'm very surprised it didn't just come straight back. Not complaining. Off you go to Stardust. And you've got a speed signal, yes, good. Cool. Let's head back to our construction ship. And it's still 30 seconds out from Hankerus. There's the last of our broad catalogs. We need exactly 200 of these before we reach provide stack threshold of 4. And that's exactly what we need to get our 200 uh, deep space science packs. Actually, oh. One broad makes two deep space science packs. Um, I think we had enough catalogs to get this research done a couple of hours ago. Whoops. It's fine. Alright, so we're going to add... some solar out here. And... here. I don't want to add too much at once because the bots can be a little silly if we do. Anchor... right about here. And I just realized... Um, if we're to swap that out, I'd better put a pylon substation down first before I remove this one. Cool. Looks good. Alright, so they should have plenty of range there. Fantastic. Um, we'll see how much power this is and how much that digs into the solar panels that we've supplied so far. And then... After that... Wait. Why do we have, like, three... How? What? Is there, like, just a little bit of... There, mu there must have been just a little bit of, um... Like, ground over here. So far I made over 600 prod nines. That's fantastic. Eight... Prod 9 modules per hour. I will need a lot of them. Yeah, that's going to take a while. I think I'm going to settle for Prod 6s as, as, like, the top tier. It honestly just is so expensive. I mean, I'm pretty sure the vast majority of our blue circuit production goes into modules. And we've got three blocks, well, plus this one. Uh, for the latest design, we've got three blocks doing red and blue circuits. It's only... Th huh. It's only 38 per second, but that is blue circuits we're talking about. That's actually quite fast. Is this recipe slower than the regular one? 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Nope. Okay. Um, 
now that we've sorted out the science, I think. Wait, what? Oh, there it is, 204. Yeah, there's our train. Good timing. Uh, now that we've sorted out the science, that I don't... There's nothing here that I wanted to use the player character to pick stuff up with. So we'll head out and rescue those ships. Your construction ships should have supercharger? Maybe. I don't know where I would fit it at this point. El Pancho, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hmm, that's a surprisingly long way that the train has to go just to go from here to here. I don't think I could do much better without making the corners much larger, though. And this is kind of an edge case. Okay. Here it comes. That looks kind of weird. Like, ghostly. In fact, I've not seen... I've not seen that transparency like that before with any other item on the belts. There's our Deep Space Science Pack 2s. California wants to charge $8 per installed kilowatt hour of solar panels, so they hate solar? Uh, probably. I wonder if the fossil fuel industry has anything to do with that. The West dude, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's because they glow? Solar panels glow? It's California, so no. Wait, which part? No, the catalogs glow. Oh, right. <laughs> Look kind of neat. So it's only 200 that we've cobbled together here, but that's all we need so we can start playing with Arcospheres. And my patience for... At least for the moment, my patience for waiting on Naquatite for science uh, is going to be significantly increased. But that said, more faster. Uh, let's grab a remote. And once I'm out of logistic range... Let's drop these Arcospheres off at the mall. Don't really need a 21st uh, portable RTG. I don't think I need 69 flamethrower turrets either. In fact, we're way past um, having any use for flamethrower turrets at this point. Where's the request for them? There we go. Uh, anything else I'm carrying too much of? I don't think we need gun turrets, like, handy all the time. We may yet make a ship that uses gun turrets, but I doubt it. Well, maybe. We could probably use a bunch of gun turrets on, like, the endgame ship. 
since it just has to go really fast for a limited time. We could even circuit control it so that if it's running out of ammo, uh, it slows down. Alright, so we need water barrels. How many do we have? Oh, an entire chest. Perfect. I need to make room in my inventory for this, though. Or I could just have them delivered uh, to this ship. I don't really want to make a request for them here. I'd rather just... Uh, wait, if I do... Oh, this is actually out of robo range as well. But I was going to say, if I do put them in the passive provider chests, they're going to get taken away by this block, actually. Um, I think I'll just shove them into the spider. If the bots will refrain from stealing them for at least 10 seconds. Oh. Wait, what? Did the bots just... Why did this auto-trash? I know we've got trash unrequested items as a thing we can do with auto-trash, but that's what this looks like. Why does this go straight... Oh, wait. No? This is my inventory. Inventory. This is my inventory. This is the Spidertrons. Oh, it's because I had the logistics tab open here. I didn't even know you could do it like that. That means you can treat any nearby Spidertron as a mobile purple chest. Huh. Interesting. Okay, let's grab some more of this into the trunk with you. And... I could just use the spider to store all this stuff, but we've got plenty of space left over right now. Construction ship. Wow. Oh yeah, we really need a... We really do need a um, supercharger right now. Um, I might just get rid of this solar panel for the moment and put a supercharger there. I could momentarily deconstruct this just to get the bots to leave it alone, but we've got 150 Ludgy bots in there going to be a bit of a mess. Then again, we do have this thing requesting Lodgy bots. I think we can probably get away with it, actually. Wait, where are you going? Oh, I thought they were going to run off to a different robo network for a second there. And undo. Look at him go. And... All of the Lodgy bots immediately got put in here. That's good. Cool. Glad we had a couple of solar panels of space here. Maybe it would have done to make this ship a little bit bigger just so that we can fit. No, it's fine. We'll just swap out a solar panel like that when we need to. They're still often going to the regular RoboPort, though. So this is still going to take longer than it should. 
If I'd realized it was going to be this bad, I would have just done one block at a time. Alright, um... What about... In here? And... In here? We also need at least one space assembly machine. Uh, I guess I could just handcraft that so we could get going right now, I think. We've got way more spaceship floor than we need. We've got underground space pipes. Uh, we've got barrels of water. And we've got... Um... We can handcraft the one space assembly machine that we need. That should be enough. I could go and get some more water. Uh, we can do another 28 stacks. Oops. Where am I looking? That's going to take a little while to get anyway. Alright, who's first? Morpheus 3, I believe. And aim this one at the player ship. So that we actually meet up with it. And away we go. Oh, why don't we have our research yet? Uh, because we've got four and a half stacks here. It actually does take time. Uh-oh. I thought we had way more Deep Space Science Pack 1 than we needed to make this happen. But did it all um down here or something? We do have another delivery happening here. 6.2k catalog. Um but because Okay, that's very weird. Every other Every other cargo wagon is really full. Oh, I see what happened here, I think. Yeah, that was the wrong arith arithmetic. Um, negative 16 would mean there was 16 chests here. And because the belts go like this, um, we got more... We got more deep space catalogs put into these two. And with a stack threshold that's less than uh, a full train load, that exacerbated things. So, two seconds after I leave, I wish I could go back here and use even distribution. But it's a small enough amount in here, I don't think we need to worry. All right, so there's our catalogs. I imagine that's going to be enough to go through the rest of these cubes. Um, and more importantly, get us up to... Uh, wait, we've already got enough. Yeah, five stacks is a thousand. Uh, we've already got significantly more than enough um, Deep Space Science Pack 2s to get our Arcospheres. But I set the provide stack threshold a bit higher here so that we would not just take every Deep Space Science Pack 1 that came in, so that we would have some left over to turn into Deep Space Science Pack 2.
I would love to be able to have those tier 1 packs available both for the rail network and uh, for the space manufacturing. But it gets a bit messy if we try to do that. Cool. So I guess we're going to have a thousand uh, pack 2s in a moment. What else should we research? We can immediately do Arcosphere folding. I imagine we're very much going to want to be doing that. I mean, this is just to get Arcospheres in the first place, and then we make different types. Cool. Uh, anything else we want to do with a small amount of pack twos? 500, 200, 400. We're not going to, we might be able to afford that pretty much straight away. Maybe not. Factory spaceship is way too expensive for now. Um, deep space transport belts are a little bit expensive for the moment. But also... I I've said it before, but you get these so late in the game that I can't be bothered with them. Like, how, how many... How many things have we made with... Uh, with regular space transport belts. And those are just done now. And we're, we're like 90-something percent of the way through. It's not like I'm going to go back and redesign, you know, Mechanical Science 1 using slightly faster belts. You get this stuff so late in the game, I don't really see the point. Uh, we could get, we could get long-range star mapping. I think we may actually already be able to afford all three of those. UPS is getting lower slowly but surely. Um, that's not quite true. We've been cleaning up old stuff and doing rebuilds that have smaller machine counts, for example. Um, and it's gone all the way back up to 22, uh, 22 or 23 as a peak, as opposed to, like, 20, 21. Kind of useless to build that. The belts, yeah. Good day. Time to start working and watch some Factorio in the background. Mazel Fazel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Sleeping Pirates, welcome, welcome. Jaws Balsler, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Good to see you again. Alright, how is our... Cons that's not our construction ship. Here we go. Let's see how much power we get just from this. Uh, I need to disconnect this wire, otherwise we won't get an accurate measurement. We need like 7 megawatts spare before we add this uh, energy beam emitter. 12 times... Uh, I think it's 255 times 2. Uh, that's actually going to be just a little bit short, I think. Out of curiosity, how many LTN stations do you have? In my save, I'm reaching 350. Uh, well, on Nalvis... Uh, some of this is going to be in the fog of war, so it's not going to be the most accurate count. Uh, I also kind of need to... I see 49 vanilla stops. Those are the exception. What if... This could... If I if I try to blueprint this whole thing just to count them, uh, it might... It might take a while. 
Where else can we check? Uh, stations. On Nalvis, 1,958. I have to admit that is a larger number than I was expecting. Um, th that is a significantly larger number than I was expecting. So we're, we're approaching 2,000 uh, LTN stations on Nalvis. And Nalvis Orbit. Oh, I guess, I guess that's everywhere. Uh, I don't suppose this is going to be any different in terms of being able to see. We've got 30 vanilla stops. That's not that useful. So yeah, for the whole game, we're approaching 2,000 um, LTN stops. Now I know why the UPS is so low. I don't think LTN is that bad, actually, for UPS. Um, I'm actually quite impressed with it in that sense. Well, in almost every sense, actually. Uh, we've got about six or seven uh, for the trains on the game update. Hovering around three for pathfinding. It does tell us somewhere LTN... Mod Logistic Train Network. It's it's less than one, the actual mod itself. Okay, now it's about one. Compare that to Circuit Network, and we're at seven. Because I like circuits. Where is Crafting Combinator? Crafting Combinator itself is uh, most of one. Most of the time. It's... I was going to say that's not as bad as I maybe expected, but considering all of the other, all, all of the like vanilla circuits are about seven, and this is almost one, that's actually kind of hefty. I do wish you could. Okay, not, not that AAI. Uh, doesn't chew up a ridiculous amount of UPS, but I do appreciate that you can at least um, tell it. Y you can set the tick rate on the buildings that control the vehicles, so you can get them to use up less UPS. Um, but I actually found when I was trying to do like AAI versus spiders and it got out of hand, um, even if you're not giving vehicles orders, if you just switch off and you have to do this manually, uh, unfortunately, there's no automation for it. If you switch off the AI on your vehicles, with a large number of vehicles, you suddenly get a bunch of UPS back. Um, but that said, I do appreciate with AAI, you can actually... For the, for the buildings that control the vehicles, uh, you can change the tick rate on them so that they're not going to use as much UPS. I think... Crafting Combinator doesn't and should have that. Um, in fact, it would be, it would actually save me a lot of, uh, a, a significant amount of circuitry on each of these Omni Smelters. If we could just change it so that, uh, the Crafting Combinators only update, like, once every three minutes or something. Um, I did that because I want the recipes to change as rarely as possible while still being, like, pretty functional. Um, so that we don't lose the bonus productivity as often. Um, but yeah, if I could set these to... If, if I could set these to only update, like, once every few minutes... Um, these 144 crafting combinators per Omni Smelter block. I'm sure we could save a bit of UPS there. What do crafting combinators do? They read or set recipes, um, which we need 
if we want to do an omni smelter in space exploration uh, with the industrial furnaces we need that because this is actually a recipe as opposed to vanilla furnaces where you just put different resources in so you point this blue uh constant combinator looking thing at the industrial furnace for example uh feed it a signal and it will set the recipe according to that signal. Each LTN requires multiple inserters, thus multiplying the UTPS cost? As in the trains? Yeah. Uh, I would definitely recommend some... something that I definitely would do next time with a space exploration playthrough. Uh, there are certain mods that make input and output from train stations much easier and more importantly drastically reduce the number of entities involved like you can literally have like just four big container things that automatically take resources out of the trains mini loader etc yeah and bigger containers so instead of 24 containers we've just got like maybe two it also would let us rebalance them which opens up some possibilities. Pretty interesting, thanks. No worries. Nine energy and 16 entity. Wait, what? Now I know why the UPS is so low, indeed. Speaking of UPS, what's eating them right now? Oh yeah, we just went over that. I wonder if we, how UPS would be if we swap all LTN with transport drones. Uh, not sure, to be honest. Well, I guess, if nothing else, uh, because we reduced the uh, entity count at stations, uh, like we were just talking about, uh, it would probably be a bit better. Use mini loader and merge chests? Yeah. I would say that's kind of some cheat territory, but like like I said uh, last time, I dare say I've proven that I can solve whatever problem with station input and output this playthrough. Um, and I could take a little break from having to solve these little problems for one playthrough at least, especially for more UPS. Anyway, you choose your own difficulties uh, with Factorio. Alright, we got our solar panels, and... Uh, looks like we've got 8 gigawatts that we can spare. Cool. Um, that's going to be enough. We'll build this thing, and I might consider building a few more solar panels after that. Let's anchor again over here this time and once that uh, scaffolding is down I'll copy this and I was gonna say um, I was gonna say we'll immediately point this where the ships are gonna be but I think for the moment, it's more important that we get this heat up. Also, why is this ship not leaving? Is this still the first one that came here? I actually have no way to find out. I wish I'd made a note of which one it was. Um, let's see. This is definitely connected. 13k. Are we actually full? Oh, I can just point at it and see if I need to. I need to keep my eyes in two places at once, but I can just point at these and see that it says 480 for each of them. Oh, 
it seems like we're full. 33 chests times 480. 15,840. Uh, greater than or equal to... Greater than 15,800. And for some reason we're getting a signal of 13k. I don't know where we'd be getting that from. Oh, don't tell me. One of the... One of the mining drills. I thought I double-checked them all, but let's... Let's make sure. In fact, I can just... Copy-paste the settings of don't do anything with the circuit network to every one of these mining drills, even though they're not connected right now. That doesn't seem to be the issue. It says we've got 11k in the red chests. And... Total in the logistic network is 24k. That certainly adds up to 13k. Ah, there's your problem. We're not counting these chests because they're not in the logistic network. I could just as easily remove the circuit wire from these ones. And it would accomplish the same thing. But this will do. Also, we don't actually want to just have these mines here and never have the bots pick up stuff from them. Cool. And there's our ice. Alright. Construction ship. Looks like you have done your thing. Heat is rising a little bit faster here now. Although we do only get 10% uh, efficiency from 6 gigawatts. Beaming the power all the way out to Stardust. So it is going to take a while. That said, um, I think I'll add some, no, before I do, I'll add as much solar power as I can down here. How much have we got in the chests? Oh, we've only got like less than one chest left here. 3.5k. Uh, and we need 4k. For another square. So... Uh, there's actually some more over here. Uh, we just need to connect those... Logistic networks? That'll get put back in the green chests. I was going to just put some scaffolding down here for future expansion. Um, but since we can definitely add another, another square of solar panels, we'll do that first. Alright, where's our Arcosphere research? We have... 4.1 4 .1 chests full of science, actually. I thought it was going to get to 5, most likely. And go. Fantastic. One thing I was really surprised by uh, is when we changed the LTN settings for updates per tick. Uh, it was originally on, I think, like one or something. Uh, and I thought bumping this up would 
significantly impact our UPS by the time we tried it. Uh, but actually, it's not even noticeable. And instead of having to wait like 15 seconds uh, to maybe get this scheduled, it would happen pretty quickly. Forty-four seconds till we reach our nest, uh, our next rescue target. How's our new ship doing? We already sent it out, didn't we? More faster. still transporting this over. I guess it was over a thousand. It's like 250 trips for the logistic bots. And we've only got... we've got 283. They should have been able to do that pretty quickly actually. How much scaffolding do we have? 6k. We can definitely... Where did I put it? We can definitely fit some more of these up here. How much is that? 500? I'll just leave this here. Wait, was that? Uh, that should be fine. I'll just leave this here so that we can easily add another emitter. Okay. Uh, launch again. And anchor again. Uh, I'll just bring it down here in case we have more scaffolding than I thought. Oh, we've only got enough room for one. And we should probably swap these around. Actually, I can immediately put this here. That's even better. There's our research. And immediately, Arcosphere folding is done as well. And this is going to stop. Nope. We had enough for that, actually. Nice. How many do we have left? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the productivity bonus from the, uh, at the labs. Hmm. All things considered, I probably should have put, uh, should, I probably should just have one lab and, like, six productivity nines in it. Um, but yeah, we've still got, uh, 332 Deep Space Science Pack 2s, not counting the ones that are in all of the labs, and... That means we can probably do, what do we got, productivity bonus, it's more than double, so we've got like 700 almost, deep space science pack 2s, we could do the transport belt, I'm sure we could do antimatter reactor right now, we can get tesseracts, That sounds fun. And maybe we can get Deep Space 3. 
Don't forget the Naquim Tesseract research, that actually gives the reason to fold the Arcospheres, no worries. Cool. After being behind so much, all, all of a sudden we've got like double what we thought we had. And I can actually design out all of the... Uh, everything except for the last tier of Deep Space Science, I can now actually design it. Alright, let's rescue our ship, um, for which I'm going to need as many water barrels as I can carry. Um, I guess the bots are gonna give me some random stuff here. Why am I... Why does my character keep drifting upwards after I move down? That's weird. Ah, uh, I think I understand. There was nowhere for them to... Yeah, th there's no robo-network here. And because I have a robo-port, they come to me instead. Okay. I could take off my robo-port, but... Well, yeah, I just could. I don't really need a RoboPort to make this work. Wait, did I? I don't have the next tier of jetpack, do I? Alright, so... That's a bit awkward, actually. Could I maybe put it up here? We need a space assembly machine. What's your target bullet? Good. Empty water barrel. Um, it's not going to be able to do anything because there's too many other things trying to take power from here. And I think the way I would like to deal with this um, is actually just put down a solar panel. Let's make it a Naquium solar panel. Add on power pull. And it's not much, but it should be enough that we can unload some water. Although, at this rate, it is really going to take a while. Um, so why don't we add some more? That's more like it. Uh, I guess we could put some efficiency nines in. That works. Let's add some more. to start picking these up. That's that's fast. That's good. Cool. Uh, let's blueprint that so we don't have to think about it next time. And I'll just put empty water barrel. Shove that in my inventory. Just have to keep taking from this. Uh, maybe it would be better if I added just a little bit of automation here. 
Oops. I don't suppose a fast inserter is going to take too much power. update our blueprint and that'll make it nice and easy to see where it goes for some reason we can stack the water barrels quite a lot on the input so I don't really feel the need for an input chest I think we've already got enough water for this thing to get home in fact maybe I took too much of it. If we're going to rescue the other three on this trip. That's probably fine for now. All right. Do I have bots actually? I don't. Yeah, no, I got rid of my Robopot because I wanted the bots to stop misbehaving. I think they got in my inventory anyway, actually. Shouldn't there be barrel in my trash slots or something? Wait, where did the bots go? I can hear them. Oh, there they are. They were just hard to see on the map. In fact, they're not showing up at all. That's kind of strange. Alright, um, I think I do need bots to pick up the floor, though. Uh, unless? This is kind of slow, though. Let's get some help. Only trouble is the bots start chasing us again. Uh, I kind of do need the empty barrels out of the way. Okay. Actually, I think as long as those bots... Wait, where did they go? Now they're over... No, that's not them. Oh, there it is. Core Fragment Barrel. So I did kidnap some bots here. Um, I can just put it in there. That's fine. Alright. Uh, so that one is potentially rescued. Assuming we have enough water. I believe it was Morpheus 5. No. Which one was it? Morpheus 3. Alright. Uh, please go to Nalvis. And hopefully that's more than enough to get back. Well, if it isn't, we'll just rescue it again and it'll be much closer. Next one is Morpheus 5, then we've got 1 and 4. Cool. What about our construction ship? Almost ready to go. I'm pretty sure it's run out of scaffolding. 1.2k. It's not enough for another block anyway. But we've got room enough here to add another three uh, beams. Don't really need that. Actually, maybe we do. Eighty 
a forty four seconds. All right, so Morpheus three should be close to full speed now. Uh, not maximum speed, but the speed that it's going to reach an equilibrium at with its energy bottleneck. Uh, ETA 50 minutes. I'm not used to non-antimatter uh, ships anymore. Let's see, 50 minutes. If we're consuming... Uh... 3.2 water per second. That is 9,600 water. Hmm. But that would be if we're using all of our power, which we... Uh, I guess we are. Yeah, because we're constantly charging the accumulators. These things should be producing the maximum they can, although it sort of doesn't look like they are. Well, we'll see. How much water do we have left? About one chest full. And we're done. Uh, I do want this one to go back to Stardust just for a couple of minor things, like we've got a couple of bots just hovering here till the end of time. Oh, and there's those ones that that were carrying the passive provider chests as well. Is it literally just... Oh yeah, no, it was also the storage tank. Uh, but yeah, that was... Pretty much everything. Just put down a storage chest and a storage tank for this to be finished. Did we bring any more prods here? We did. We need four. Wait, what's the point of bringing four? Set requests on this end. Four productivity modules. That's no good. Eight, seven, and four. I wonder why I did that. Uh, eight and seven would be one beacon. But four of these doesn't fill up another big mining drill. So I'm not sure what the big idea was there. Okay. Um, we've got a few stocked up. We can probably bump that up a bit. And if I if I put down a plan for if I put down a ghost for another drill, but don't line it up where it's gonna get sulfuric acid, um, then I can come back here and when that's been built, if it's got the modules, I can just use picket dollies. Uh, when it's got the modules, I can just use picket dollies to push it up one tile. And that way we don't lose any bonus. Uh, it's a little bit of a chore, but I should probably arrange for mining this Naquitite at this outpost as well. Although we don't really... Uh, we obviously don't have the prods here at the moment. But I could at least... 
I'll, I'll set up everything except leave the sulfuric acid out until we're ready. Does that have full coverage? Not quite. Oh, it does. It's a little bit hard to see, but it just barely covers that one. It's surprisingly neat. And this one as well. Um, we're definitely going to need to connect those wires all the way across. And I'll use the copy paste from this one. And this one. And I think that's actually already all connected. Oh. So then we'll need to add just a little bit of scaffolding. In order to get this across. actually put this here, except when the ship comes and goes, it's not going to connect the wires that way. But I do want... I do want to connect that like so. You can put a pylon like here or wherever. ETA zero seconds. I forgot to get. I wonder if this is burning fuel at the same rate as if we're moving at full speed. Quite likely. Orpheus five rolling away from us at a rate of 0.37. For some reason, we're chasing it at a rate of 230-something. Set target bullet, and we're here. Alright, so more water barrels. And board. Oh, that's nice and fast. I should remember to swap these jetpacks in and out. All right, our blueprint goes here. And here. And water goes here. Yeah, I probably should have brought ice. Um, I do have my doubts as to whether these are going to make it back. We'll see. If I get it to go slower, I don't think that helps because minimum consumption on the ion engines is just so high. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot this part. Okay. Uh, I also forgot this. T 
T-Hacks, have you done any star mapping research? I've done the research, I haven't done anything with it just yet. Um, so what, is it up here now? No? Hold on, I definitely... I definitely checked off something called long-range star mapping, but... Oh, is this repeatable just like zone discovery? Some distant galaxies can be identified by... So how do I... Star mapping. By repeatedly researching the technology long-range star mapping... Does this have any practical use? Probably not. Coordinates are given in standard vector format. You have mapped one notable star patterns. It's just infinite research. I'm a little sad, not gonna lie. I would have thought Shouldn't there be an infinite research that uses the tier 4 space science? Or does that depend on arcospheres with diminishing returns or something? Also, I think we're done here. That's not enough water, I'm sure. There's more to it than being repeatable. Fair enough. Maybe I should do an input. Um, inserter here. Wait, this does have power. Oh, because we're running off of the condenser turbines now, that's why. don't actually want that to connect, though. Whatever, we're done here. Alright, let's remove that in the right order. Not that relevant at this stage. Play with the spheres first. Yeah, I'll definitely be doing that. Alright, so now we board our ship again. As soon as the bots are in. Hurry up, bots. And go. Uh, which ship was that again? I think it was, it was either 5 or 3, definitely. Morpheus 5. Oh, wait, let's target the next one first. Otherwise, we'll chase it. Uh, next is Morpheus 1. And Morpheus 5. Please go to Nalvis. Assuming you can make it that far. I think it's connected to pyramids, but I haven't yet took a deep dive into it. Just collected some screenshots. Fair enough. Yeah, I did notice the... Uh, there's a bunch of signals uh, similar to what was shown in the Informatron when we looked at that uh, that look very, very familiar, uh, very, very similar to what we find in the pyramids. So I won't be shocked if those are related somehow. In fact, why don't we have a look at those right now? So, 
we've got... Hmm. I don't actually know where they are. I could have sworn we had a whole lot of signals that looked... something like this? Maybe not? I don't think I've seen that particular pattern on one of our screenshots. Though. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the last one. Gorilla. Uh, up the top, in the middle on the left, um, it's got that exact sim uh, symbol. And Ad Adikia has that symbol in the middle. They're only in the naming window? Okay. Uh... Unsorted. There it is. I knew I'd seen these somewhere before, but we can't use them as signals. I think I saw the signals some... Uh, somewhere a long time ago, but I can't find it anymore. Probably won't help. Probably some implementation quirk. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think uh, we can use this in that way. How many of them? 60? Yeah. What do we got? Uh, 10. We've got... Uh, 130. No, it's, um... That is a few. Alright, where are we going? Uh, we are at Morpheus 1, wasting fuel, because I forgot to tell Morpheus 1 to... Actually, let me confirm this. We've got plenty of fuel right now. Yeah, it is burning fuel. Just chasing Morpheus 1 at full speed, even though Morpheus 1 is barely moving. Maybe we're flying circles around it. Uh, let's get some barrels. Where am I putting these? Oh, I see. Alright, water barrels. And water barrels. And that worked out pretty well. I think we have four ships to rescue. That's a pretty even distribution. Alright, so we're going to place our blueprint here. And here. Barrels go in here. Um, and I would like to automate this bit this time. I might have to manually disconnect this though. Water goes here. Cool, don't need to pay attention to that. Uh, where's our construction ship? Oh, it's finished its job a while ago. Uh, back to Stardust to fix those last little issues and uh, to expand the mine a bit. Or at least lay the groundwork so that that is basically finished already. Then we just need 
um, our ships to bring more mines and productivity modules. Are we done? We just finished. Fantastic. I should probably add at least one more Robopollock so the butts can recharge faster. Alright, your target is... Wait, no, I have to leave it on bullet so that I can board. Is this going to bring the bots with me? I'm curious. It actually does. Interesting. Alright, Morpheus 1. Please go to Nalvis. And uh, I think Morpheus f 4, did we already save that? No, Morpheus 4 is here. Morpheus 4, away we go. And dry barrels back in the chests. And I'll take that. There's one barrel here as well. Rude. Alright, we should be there in just 15 seconds. Uh, Morpheus 1 is heading back. Uh, the construction ship. Should probably still be in the solar system uh, that it was that it was in. ETA ten minutes longer than expected. And once we rescue this ship, uh, I won't have anything to do in person for a few minutes. So. We'll start designing the next tier of science. Or alcospheres, rather, or both. Alright, let's grab our temporary blueprint. This isn't going to work, right? As long as that wire is connected? Yeah, I didn't think so. Now there's enough power. It's not getting sucked up by the engines. Among other things. And the last water barrel can go in there as well. And away we go. Do you have some spheres already, or is that the first step? Uh, we've got some spheres. We got a few from various, uh, like, one-off free sources. We've got 26. Midden, good to see you again. Well, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, what do we got here? Um, everything... All of the folding is done in a gravimetrics facility. Inversion is done in a gravimetrics facility. Uh, and there's two types of that. Polarization turns... Why is there two versions of this? Alpha... Uh, sorry, Lambda Z Zeta. Lambda Z Zeta. Oh. It's like opposite one zero one zero one zero zero 
hold on, 101010100, I'm pretty sure these are the exact opposite of each other. This rep recipe will occasionally switch to the alternate recipe of the same name. I bet you could cheese that with crafting combinators, but we're not going to do that. Uh, the Arcosphere outputs... Although, actually, since they both have exactly the same name, I'm curious now. Arco... Yeah, there's... There's two different recipe signals for Arcosphere polarization. I bet you could force it to stay on one or the other, but we're not going to do that. Uh, let's tidy up here first. Hey, Dardano. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Getting ready to tackle Arcospheres? Yes. Uh, so we've got the water that might just get the ship back to Nalvis. Because of that recipe mod, yeah. So, I don't know if you missed it, I'll show it again. Uh, if we go into Crafting Combinator Recipes, we've got a bunch of signals that we need to do things like, for example... Um, recipe Copper Plate, but with... Uh, with the Vulcanite included, as opposed to just copper plate. You gotta watch out for those, um, like, especially with space exploration, there's so many things to search. I, I use the search function quite a lot. Um, you can very easily accidentally give it, like, recipe. We, we ran into this problem relatively recently, actually. I was looking for recipe ice. Um, instead of checking for ice on a signal, uh, so it was never returning true. Cheesing this with forced recipes would be brutal, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, if we look at, um, the Arcosphere recipes, we've got two of the same name, uh, for these two. So I'm sure you could force one or the other. Can't wait for your Arcosphere solution. I evolved from very complicated to surprisingly simple. Nice. Elegant code is elegant. Uh, did I get Morpheus 4 to start heading home? I think I probably didn't. Now this... And Novus Orbit. I'm pretty sure that's the last ship out here that we're trying to rescue. Yep. Cool. Are my bots okay? They will be. There we go. Surprisingly simple is a relative term here, I'm sure. Okay, so... Uh, what machine? It's all gravimetrics facilities, right? Well, first of all, we need to make our Arcosphere collectors. Let's, uh, let's try and get a little bit ahead of that. So that we can actually have some to play with uh, before the heat death. And switch this on. I think that's all it takes. Uh, we did the we we laid the groundwork for this earlier, unless there's something missing in the rail network or something like that. So we should see a train scheduled to drop some stuff off off here uh, pretty soon. There we go. Alright, we'll give it some time. 
Uh, and also, I might kill a little bit of the automation over here. Where's the launch signal? Oh, we didn't add it yet? No, we did. I didn't connect this yet. Good. Yeah, no, that's that's perfect, actually. Um, shouldn't there be... I think that should have a red wire as well. Yeah, okay. So we're always sending uh, the destination signal to the console here. But I'm going to connect this red wire when we're ready to launch because I want to witness uh, this thing working the first time. But we're going to need like uh, 40 Arcosphere collectors before it's time to launch anyway. Oh, uh, and this ship is auto-launched. Don't see that often. Uh, I think I called it the Ferry of some kind. Interstellar Void Probe Ferry. It's stopped. Where is it? Uh, surely its destination isn't Stardew. Why is its destination Stardew? Oh wait, no, I'm confusing Stardew with Stardust. Understandable. Um, so is it actually... Closest Nalva's destination, Stardew. I have to click engage. I think this is the first time it's auto-launched. Or, no, this is probably a familiar... A familiar issue that we finally figured out. We need to give it a speed signal. Otherwise it won't go automatically. Or I could just do that. Does that work as well? I don't know if if this was here earlier it would have gone full speed. We don't have any accumulators on this thing. It's such a short trip, I might just set the speed to 100. Um, I want to confirm that this will now move on its own. It does. Okay. We tested it at 110 speed going through dense asteroids, but I'll maybe limit it to 100. It's a very short trip and it doesn't have to leave very often. Okay, so I probably need to do the same thing over here. Cool. Uh, only eight minutes until we're back at Alva's orbit. Good, good, good. And here's the first of our... One, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, six inputs. What was the other one bringing? Everything except for the antimatter canisters, I think. We've got antimatter canisters here, I believe. Not a whole lot of them. Oh, actually, that's quite a few. Uh, I wonder if there's absolutely no reason that I should be... Uh, this problem again. I want short trains to pick up the antimatter canisters and long trains to pick up... Um, the thermal fluid. No, we are allowing short trains here. 
Oh, it's because the provide stack threshold is so high. Okay. Let's just bump that down to 40. If I leave it like this and, God forbid, have somewhere that's going to have, uh, somewhere that's going to be asking for, like, a long train of antimatter canisters, um, then I would just have to make sure they all merge and leave plenty of room in storage. But realistically, um, I doubt we're going to have long trains moving antimatter canisters around. So actually we've got quite a few antimatter canisters. That's good. And fluid wagons. Uh, fluids sort themselves out with the rebalancing and stuff. So not going to worry too much about that. In fact, I could have just made this uh, a short train as well, I suppose. Well, 50 per second is not nothing. Okay. So looking again at the Arcosphere recipes. Lambda Z Zeta, Lambda Z Zeta. Wait, what? This recipe will occasionally switch to the alternate of same name. Ingredients appear to be identical. The only difference in output is the types of arcospheres. We get. Theta Epsilon Phi. Oh, it actually shows zero times. Zero zero one 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 zero zero. So we always get Phi out of this. Okay. Should we just try to balance all of these until we know more? Uh, oh, so t 2 becomes 2. There's, there's no cost except for time and energy for swapping these things around, is that right? We've got Lambda Omega becomes... How do you even pronounce that? Xi? Z? And Theta? Z and Gamma becomes Zeta and Lambda. Z and Zeta becomes Theta and Phi. Lambda Theta becomes Epsilon Zeta. How many different types are there? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'm guessing. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I miss Theta? No. Epsilon. I'm pretty sure there's eight types. But we can probably have a look through here. Or not. Yeah, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll be first one to clip when he starts crying. Oh no. You never lose Arcospheres? Okay, cool. So, 
Well, we never lose them converting them, right? Or do they actually get consumed in other recipes? Arcosphere. We've got a swap recipe, a swap recipe, a more advanced swap recipe that I don't think we have access to yet. Uh, this one. This one. Okay, here we go. Oh, hello. So we do... It, it looks like... It looks like we do never lose Arcospheres. More of them means we have more throughput with everything that needs them. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, but judging by... Uh, judging by seeing what Lambda goes into, it looks like we never actually lose any Arcospheres. Arcospheres storage does consume them. But that one is kind of exotic. Arcosphere storage. I don't think you have to worry about that one anytime soon. I lost them temporarily. You only lose them for Arco Link chest. Okay, cool. Um Okay. So I'm just trying to figure out ahead of time how I should go about figuring this out. Also, I think I checked this already, but everything happens in a gravimetrics facility. I imagine one block will be enough uh, to do everything. We'll probably use robots. Just like 50 logistic bots should be way more than enough to move everything around. Uh, I may use set requests since we've only got 26 Arcospheres to play with, actually. Hmm. Uh, that is only three and a little bit of each type. Seems like with only 26 we could easily sort of paint ourselves into a corner. Maybe. But we'll be harvesting more Arcospheres in the relatively near future. Oh, in fact, we are already we're already making our ninth uh Arcosphere Collector. That's going more smoothly than expected. Although, we do need Nequim Cubes for these things. Okay. Ever more Nequim is required. Speaking of which, I forgot to... get this ship started after having to wait for the floor to be put down. Logi requests don't work. They weren't... They weren't at Mall, but after frantic searching for 30 minutes, I found them again. I'd find them by dismantling the base. <laughs> oh, oh! I thought you meant Ar I, I thought you meant you can't use logistic requests for Arcospheres for a second there, which I'm sure is wrong uh, because we can see it here. It's not one of those special items that doesn't show up. Bad mode? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is it possible to get your train city grid blueprint? Uh, yes. It is on this website, Factorio Prints. Let me just scroll a bit and make sure I didn't miss anything else. Meloxel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Noxyway Gaming, good to see you again also. Oh yeah, I, I saw what you said earlier. I just missed the name. 
the ones I collected at special locations. Don't want to lose them. Yep. I'd find them by dismantling the entire base. It's hard to get locked completely, I think, but it can be annoying to get back to a balanced amount. I can imagine. Best part is I made precautions to prevent accidental loss. That made me not able to find them again. Oh no. Yeah, I'm kind of glad um, I've gotten in this habit of having... Wherever I've got another robo network, um, I've got a vanilla train. Oh, I guess this might be an exception, actually. Because this robo network doesn't actually have bots. Um, it's literally just to wirelessly transmit some information. Um, because we, it, it, it wirelessly transmits information and it lets us have two conditions on one, com, uh, one inserter without using a combinator. Uh, but that's a bad example. How about this one? Um, we've got a little robot network here. If my spiders were to walk past it with trash in their logistic trash slots, um, these bots are going to steal it. But everything that's permitted to be in this robot network is on a negative a million constant combinator connected to read logistic network contents connected to a set requests uh, request a chest and then it goes to a chest that we can read um, so that we can tell the vanilla train to come pick up whatever happens to be here is this a free mod indeed it is space exploration nerd rage welcome welcome hope you're doing well I'm just looking forward to that panicked moment of, oh noes, I have all Zetas. <laughs> and just the last two lambdas and the factory's still running. Whereas the emergency off switch, definitely not based on actual events. No, of course not. Alright, so just to confirm, uh, if we put a request to chest here. Why are my spiders sitting off to the side like that. Wait, are we here? No, we're not here. Uh, Arcosphere. I'm pretty sure they take up one slot each. So yeah, there's no issue with using bots for these. Morbi... Morbi Sal? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, can't actually moderate a language other than English. That's the only reason why I'd ask you not to use that. Thanks. But you're welcome regardless. Uh, I need to put a tag here. I almost forgot again. Antimatic canister. Privet slash hello. Thank you. Hello to you as well. Uh, 2 minutes 40 till we're back at Nalvis Orbit. That's quite short, actually. Construction ship is 40 seconds out from Stardust. And our interstellar void probe ferry is on the move. I do want to witness uh, when it gets to its destination. If at all possible. Um, considering that we made changes to this outpost so that it would work for Arcospheres as well. Alright, so how many probes have we made lately? Uh, what is it called? Oh, Collector. Arcosphere Collector. We have made 10. And all in the last... 3 minutes? 
could have sworn I checked on it significantly longer ago than that. But I guess UPS go burr. Yeah, we need more Naquin cubes. I did say we only needed like 40 before this will auto launch, I think. Yeah, 40. So we're a quarter of the way there. But I suspect those Naquim cubes have been there a long time. Uh, no, wait, because I activated this myself. Also... Oh, right. Right. Because the mall requests Naquim cubes and then we take them from the mall to there. Okay, cool. And we're still doing that. Alright, that'll get done on its own. Um, I think I want to wait till I'm physically there to try and design this. Then again, we can make a start. I do have... Hmm. I could use what's left over in this block, but I don't really want to do that. I want it to be in its own block. Also, it can be nice and close to our Naquium, Naquium? Arcosphere pickup, which I haven't set up just yet, actually. No, wait, yes I have, this is it. We're just going to use short trains for Arcospheres. Somehow I don't think we're going to be using, uh, needing a long train for that one. All right, construction ship is at its destination. Anchor. And go. Oh, I may need to... Oh no, wait, this should do it. Extend out that robo network. And there's our storage chest. Various bots should be heading towards it. Or not. Oh, is there a... there's a storage chest here, that's why. Except I would have expected passive provide... I think the... I figured it out. The ship that had the bots with the passive provider chests is already on its way back. It's this one. Yeah, once that gets to Nalvis, this will sort itself out. I could start upgrading ships so they have more throughput. But then I'll have to keep coming here to manually launch ships that don't have the bonus chests. So we'll give that a wait, I think. Uh, how close does this have to... Surprisingly close. That doesn't seem right. I can't actually tell how close this needs to be. Mm. Kind of wish I could just switch this uh, RoboPod on and off. I kind of can. Why don't we just move this? Could have been a bit smarter about where I placed it in the first place, but it'll work itself out. Uh, that's a little bit unfortunate. Okay. 
so now this is going to go right about here. That's not quite right, but it'll it'll do for a measurement. I might actually just put this heat. Oh. We're one tile off having the space. May as well put it over there then. It's not a rock that's in the way. No, I'm holding shift. Have you tried improving a UPS spend hole yesterday on optimizing and went from 30 to almost 50? Wow. That's pretty dramatic. Uh, I have done a few things to optimize it. In fact, that reminds me, um, we should be sending... Uh, we should be getting our scaffolding spiders that we've temporarily changed up uh, to pick up some of this old stuff. We've got a whole lot of old builds that use way more machines than they need to, especially since we've got uh, better modules and beacons now. And they should be able to pick up... Actually... Could be wrong there. I was going to say they should be able to pick up the rest of our first biosigns. Some of them have a lot more room. Oh, and we're here, by the way. I've got a bunch of prod modules on my person. Um, we could definitely expand that Aquium mine. But I want to play with Arcospheres first. Or try, try and figure out the build right now. I could actually... Uh, send this ship on its way. Let me just dump some stuff in here. That's annoying. Hmm, I need to make more room in my inventory to make this easier. Why don't I put this in the spider? And just set you to trash everything. our purple chest actually. Oh yeah, I forgot what I figured out earlier today. If I'd set it to the logistics tab, everything would have automatically gone in the trash slots. There's only 20 of them though. Um, and then if I fill this with my prod sixes, uh, I guess this wouldn't hurt either. already full. Alright, we're going to send this to uh, Stardew, or rather Stardust. And I won't need to be present just to deliver those productivity modules. Are you empty already? Good spider. Alright, back to the mole then. And let's start trying to figure this out. Oh, 
also... This one's only at 3,000 degrees. Okay, cool. We didn't forget about it for too long. I think we're up to ship number 12 for Stardust. Uh, yes. Let's name it first. Those hitches are because spiders are placing um, rail signals. It'll sort itself out shortly. Right, we don't want to send this before it's at like five to ten thousand degrees Celsius regardless, but that is otherwise ready to go. Uh, I kind of went past the mall. Let's fix that. Alright, so... I won't worry about the shape of the train input or anything just yet. That's going to be pretty simple anyway. Um, in fact, RoboPorts. That is tragically close. One, two, three. Okay. I imagine um, just a really basic robot network is going to be more than enough to keep up with this, at least for a while. So we need Gravimetrics facilities. The first one... So does it switch every single time, or...? Occasionally switch to the alternate recipe. Does it switch consistently? Can I assume that we're going to get an equal amount of both over a long enough time frame? How many arcospheres do I have to put in before that happens? I could... Okay, this is an idea. This is a good idea, I think. The first thing I'm going to do is have a requester chest um, to request the basic arcospheres. We're going to set these two to the opposite. Uh, so this one is arcosphere polarization, the first one. And this one is Arcosphere Polarization, the second one. If they switch at the same time, then we can probably expect... Because these inserters will automatically take turns. Stack size one. I don't think the stack size matters, does it? Because the maximum... That the stack size is literally one for the arcospheres. So we're going to have two of these machines on opposite arcosphere polarization recipes, taking from the same requester chest, uh, and that should give us an even spread of all eight products, I imagine. After that, we've got inversion. Lambda Z, Epsilon, Epsilon Phi. I wish I knew by heart which one of these is which. Like, I want to convert them all to sphere type 1, sphere type 2 in my head. Lambda Z S long Phi, that's like one, two, 
5 and 6. Coming from... Oh, is it just the opposite 4? That would be what is meant by inversion, right? Yeah, we could literally just swap these back and forth until the end of time. Um, if we had four arcospheres. Okay. So it's... So it's the first two, then it skips over two, and then it's those two, and then it skips over two. As opposed to zero one zero one zero one zero one, or the opposite of that, that we get initially. Hmm. And then we've got lambda omega. That's first and last. Becomes Z and theta, which is like the second one and the fourth one. Z and gamma. Second one and the second last one. Becomes zeta and lambda. Uh, the first and the third. Not seeing a pattern so far. Inverting is basically the only safe thing you can do with the spheres. Safe. Hmm. Uh, Z, Zeta, which is 2 and 3, becomes Theta, Phi. Four and six. So I guess you could think of it as doubling it. Is this going to turn out to be some like bit shifting pattern or something? Lambda omega becomes Z beta. Not that I'm seeing. If it was Z Zeta, then yes, that would be pretty obvious. Just moving all of them down one. Z Gamma becomes Zeta Lambda. Lambda. Z and Gamma becomes Zeta Lambda. That one moves one, that one moves two. Lambda Omega becomes Z Zeta. That one moves one, that one moves one, two, three, four. I don't think there's going to be a pattern like what I'm looking for. I I would almost assume that there is going to be some kind of overall pattern, though. Epsilon Omega becomes Lambda Gamma. Epsilon Omega... Plus two, plus one. Hmm. How many arcospheres would it take if I simply had 
conditions on all of these recipes that, like, Z and Zeta have to be greater than Theta and Phi. Or, or maybe, like, Z has to be greater than Theta, Z has to be greater than Phi, and Zeta has to be greater than both of those as well. Hmm. If we get the average of... If we get the total arcospheres divided by 8... Yeah. It, it can't be that easy, surely. I mean, there's going to be... If everything is really close... If a bunch of things are really close to the average, there's probably going to be some motion that goes around in circles, especially uh, with the 10-second crafting time. So we could maybe set it to something like... The inputs have to be significantly above average, like two or three above average or something. But how many recipes could, let's say, Lambda... For folding, how many recipes could Lambda be going through at the same time? If we have just one machine for each. We've got one... Two... Only two? I guess that makes sense. We've got eight recipes and two inputs for each. Omega... Yeah, I think it has to be that, mathematically. Um, Z... Okay. Uh, Zeta? Well, let's say Gamma. Okay. So each input has two recipes that it goes into. Uh, and I'm sure it's going to be the same on the output. There's two ways to get Z. There's two ways to get Theta. And so on. Uh, to anyone particularly adept at math, that must have been a pretty obvious tautology just immediately. But that definitely clears up some things. Where's our ship? Um, the bullet... So actually, already this far out. Wow. What's its top speed again? 232. It's not that much faster than the construction ship. Uh, that reminds me. Oh. Um, we could put down a temporary radar pylon, like so, until that gets done. Is that in range? Yeah, it's in range. Definitely. Oh, this one's done. Fantastic. How many prod modules do we have here? Zero. Oh, it was probably... Yeah, one of our ships delivered that. Okay, cool. No, yeah, we've still got more. Or perhaps not. Nice. Um, finding it kind of weird that keep checking for pods and finding zero, but the bots were bringing them. Okay, that's the last of them for the moment. Uh, and I was going to send... Oh, yeah, I already sent the bullet. That's fine. Is there no mod for building tile plus building on top of it in one step from blueprint? I'd also like to know, actually. 
Um, that would be very useful. Especially for building spaceships. Alright, we're at 5.1k. Halfway to ready to go. I mean, we can launch it a lot sooner than that, but I'd rather be safe. Products finished. We're still on 10. Oh, right, we're waiting on an Aquium Cube. That could be a while. Did we get rid of the over-the-top priorities? Or Naquim Cube? Not this one. Okay. And Science as well. I actually removed that request. Okay. Also, hmm, are we ever actually going to use inversion? I'd need to check that we have significantly more of, like, all four of those at once, compared to those other four. So each of, for example, Zeta, Theta, Gamma, Omega has to be, let's say, two more than Lambda, Z, and Epsilon, and Phi. There's a lot of AND conditions in the logic that I find myself coming up with for these, which uh, doesn't lend itself to a low combinator count. I was also thinking we could use set requests um, so that we don't have a we don't have arcospheres sitting idle. So instead of just having like uh, requesting whatever goes into here and then having uh, the condition on an inserter. We could maybe set requests here, but then, unless we count the number of items we're putting in, we're going to end up with extra summoned here anyway. So it may as well just request one of each, I think. We would need to have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Uh, that's more than half of our Arcospheres so far. Sitting idle, waiting to be swapped when a condition is met. I could also use crafting combinators, uh, not to, like, cheat this, but... Just so that we have, like, one of each as an input here, and then we set the recipe. Also, because there's no recipe that outputs just one of anything, it makes it a bit more complicated to compare to the average to make a decision. this actually. I don't think it gets easier with crafting combinators, you just save on a few machines, yeah. Maybe it works with recursive blueprints? I haven't actually played with those yet. 
uh, oddly enough. Is there no mod for building... Oh, right, I answered that, sorry. Uh, bless. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so... Now conditions for... Let's calculate, like, average plus two or something. We'll need to read from the Robo Network. I could transmit the average wirelessly if I do some weird stuff with swapping items around in chests. think about this. So we're going to go read logistic network contents. Um, into an arithmetic combinator. If we end up with anything that's not supposed to be in this logistic network, uh, it's going to throw things off if I do it that way. Let's just keep it simple for the moment, and we can always reduce the combinator count. So we're going to read from Logistic Network Contents, uh, Arcosphere, where are they? Arcosphere Lambda times 1, output Arcosphere Lambda. Uh, Z, well, it's I, how do I pronounce that? Zeta, uh, Zeta, Theta, Epsilon, Phi, Gamma and Omega. Actually, I just realized there's a problem here. Because, uh, like I've talked about before, when bots move certain items around in the logistic network, uh, it can tr it can send out a negative signal. Um, how much of something is in the logistic network. Whenever an item is in motion, we don't get a precise count. Um, so it might be better to read all of the passive provider chests. And now that I put it that way, um, I kind of want to just declutter this a little bit, actually. So, just like the logistic network does anyway, we're going to consider anything that's in the requester chests to just not exist. Uh, I guess we don't need that. And we're going to say... Uh, probably each divided by 8. Output A for average. And we can say a plus 2 just by putting a constant combinator here. Um, or do we want to pretend it's a bit lower? Either way. So this is going to be the first recipe, second recipe, third, fourth, uh, 
fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Shift right click, shift left click should give us different inputs. Oh no. Uh, now I have to... Okay, this is the third from the last. Yeah, I think those are all different. Request from buffer chests in case we decide to use those. Thank you for the follow, Blabs. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Try if the clear cursor keybind does what you want. Clear cursor. Heisenberg's Uncertainly Principle in Factorio. You can fix the number of items, or you can move them, but not both. <laughs> right. Um, okay, so if we take each divided by 8, output A for average. Um, that's not going to work, because the way each does math and the way division works in Factorio, uh, we don't get decimals. So if we've got like 7 of each of the different arcospheres, uh, it's going to give us 0 8 times, and the average is going to be 0. So instead, we need to uh, each times one output C for count. Um, and then we need to say C divided by eight is our average. Um, and that's not going to include the remainder. So I guess the average is going to be artificially low most of the time. All the more reason to have a bit of an offset where something has to be a little bit extra above average before we convert it into something else. Um, so we'll just have a constant combinator connected to that output that's going to say a at least two. What would be the worst case if this wasn't giving us an accurate average? If we had seven of everything, uh, that was our other worst case. Seven times eight is fifty-six. Uh, that's going to be perfect, actually. We need something that's like three off of a perfect, no, four off of a perfect, uh, of a multiple of eight. So let's say we have 12. I know we've got more than that, but let's, well, actually, two, four, six, eight, sixteen. We've got like 20 something. Oh, they're in here. Uh, we've got 26, so we're only going to have 10 that are going to be in the chests. If we were to start right now. Um, if we only had 10 and we divide by 8, we're going to have like 2. Let's pretend we had 12. Uh, we're going to get like an average of 1, but there's actually 4 left over. If all of those four were somehow the exact same type of arcosphere, um, yeah, I think that should be fine, actually. Okay. For now, we're just going to say... We're going to pretend the average is like two higher than it actually is. And then... Or maybe two lower? It... 
on this end, I want to say if each of the inputs are significantly above average, we can activate this inserter. And on this end, if I put a condition on this one as well, we're going to have Arcospheres tied up in the output. I don't think that's going to be the best way to do things for something so rare. But then, okay, so we have to have all of the logic uh, come to this inserter. So our, we need like four conditions on this. Um, we need lambda and omega. Lambda is greater than average. Uh, output one green. Omega is greater than average. That's not omega. Omega greater than average. Um, xi and theta. are below average. Psi and theta. And we could probably... It might be possible to reduce the count um, if we had, like, each greater than A and send two signals to this. Um, but we need a different condition on these, um, each less than a over here. So we probably can't reduce the combinator count that much. Um, and then our inserters condition is going to be green signal equals four. Because this takes like 10 seconds, or probably significantly less, we can, with beacons, we can make it go much faster. Um, but there is going to be some lag time. If we try and go exactly for the average, it might cause a loop. Does it need to be, does A need to be higher or lower depending on if we're checking one or the other? I can just do separate constant combinators if that's the case. So, each times one output C for count, C divided by 8 equals A for average. Uh, the average will 7 times out of 8 be artificially a little bit lower than it should be. So we should probably just pretend it's slightly higher, if anything. We should probably pretend it's higher for the purpose of deciding, yes, this is greater than average, uh, but maybe just leave it as it is for these two. So we have to have a significant amount of extra. Let's use red wire for this since we're going to run green wire to it from all of those chests.
Or conversely, I could just like do some arithmetic again. Something like A plus 2 equals T for target. Or something. And then transmit transmit that to all of those. So that might be just about it to get started. I'm only now realizing a better way to do my solution. This sure is a puzzle, definitely. Pink pajamas, good to see you again. Oh, well, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's the kind of puzzle that uh it takes a bit to get started. Okay. I, th I think that might basically be it. At least for these recipes. And then... We need the same thing, but with different input signals for the rest of these. Also, if we don't mind the look of the wiring, we can uh, get rid of most of those constant combinators. So now we've got some repetitive stuff to do that requires a lot of focus. Uh, Z and Gamma. Becomes Zeta and Lambda. Oh, and this will connect here. The inserters are all going to have the same condition. Yeah. I should probably... So we've done the first two, right? Uh, why don't I just blank all of those for the moment so it's a lot more clear which ones we've completed. Okay. So this is Z Zeta. turns into theta and phi. And then we've got lambda, theta... Wasn't lambda over here? That's zeta, not theta. Lambda, theta. Theta's the one that looks like uh, it's describing an angle. Uh, epsilon, zeta. Cool. And then we've got... Theta Epsilon. Don't think we've done an Epsilon yet. Not for the inputs. Becomes Phi and Omega. Z 
Zeta Phi. turns into Gamma Epsilon. Where's Gamma? I thought I knew. There it is. Second last one. And Epsilon. And then... Phi Gamma Where's Gamma? There it is. Uh, becomes Omega and... C. And last one before my eyes explode from strain. Uh, Epsilon Omega. Epsilon and Omega turns into Lambda and Gamma. Lambda and Gamma. Okay. And we're only requesting one of each in the requester chests. Bots will never over deliver something that only has a stack size of one. So we got uh, 16 of our 26 inputs are going to be here. After we do this stuff, that is. And only 10 here. Yeah, so if we're below average on something, we're definitely meeting that part of the condition, even if it's only a little below average. The average will be artificially lower 7 times out of 8 because of uh, shaving off the remainder. We're going to... We're going to want at least 2 above the average. Uh, for whichever one of these we're going to be inputting. I think this is probably going to work. Maybe. The input and output spheres are also visible directly on the recipe icon on the building. Whoa! Uh, rip space rail. I didn't know that would get destroyed. By a railgun shot. Um, why does the busted space rail look exactly like regular busted rail? Well, uh, yeah, I think we're ready to give this a try. As for what we're going to be doing with the rail network with this stuff, um, I think, well, it's going to be easier if whenever we make data cards, we just send the output. Yeah, the output's consistent, at least. Or is it? This recipe will occasionally switch. It's not consistent. Uh, all the more reason, I think... Well, it, it's not going to output any of its own inputs. Uh, I think we should just bring the Arcospheres back here every time. Is it feasible to fix the fraction issue with multi multiplying by 100? Or is it complicating things too much? With extra buildings. Um, not sure off the top of my head. But let's check on our construction ship and stuff. Uh, looks like we've built this stuff out. 
Let's check the robot network. That is missing a couple of supercharger high torque. Interesting. Um Oh. Oh, we're randomly getting some of our prod modules taken over there as well. I can live with that. All right. Uh, we need to add... Oh, we don't need these anymore. Although, apparently... What? I thought those were connected previously. By Cal, thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. Three months, nice. One of the Naquitite Miner is not aligned with its chest. Uh, yeah, that's intentional because we don't have five prod modules in this thing yet. So once we get it here, I'm going to use Picket Dollies to push this back up a tile. Or I guess if you don't use Picket Dollies, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, rip a tiny amount of Naquitite. Um, but yeah, I guess I could have pointed it at this drill here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to move it up with Picker Dollies once it's got its productivity bonus. Good looking out though. Try copper cable to connect wire. Yeah, I was about to, but I wanted to check. This is actually too far. Uh, well, these things do reach, and I don't really want to add extra superchargers. So I guess that'll be fine, actually. Um, I do need to add some media point defense to these. Where's the scaffolding? They're three by three, right? What would be the neatest way to do this? Probably like, like that. I guess we'll need one extra inserter here. Not too worried. Point defense. And request. I guess I won't set the requests on these quite so high. And we don't need any more over there. How about one stack? suddenly feel like this was a bit overkill. It's fine. We're always bringing lots of ammo anyway.
Better to have too much than not enough. Okay, and that just leaves the sulfuric acid pipes. Uh, which will be a little bit of a hassle. I guess we'll do it here. Pretty sure we don't need that part. Actually, is that going to be... Uh, part of it's going to be outside of the range of the point defenses, so maybe not. Uh, Guido, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And... Where can we run our pipes? It collides. I don't like it. Still in range. Uh, yeah, that'll do. It'll have to jump under. Well, maybe not. I can't actually move it with Piccadilly's rip. Actually, let me just check this again. Yeah, that's kind of perfect, actually. Uh, let's do a pipe like that. Never mind. And then scaffolding like so. If you want to be stylish, you could save scaffolding by using underneathy pipe. It only goes five tiles though. Um with the uh, with the space pipe so we actually need quite a lot of pipe sections to make that work okay We don't, I'm pretty sure we won't need a pump here. Um, even without the prod modules, it's only going to consume three sulfuric acid per second. Not too worried about that. One tile off. Rip. Um, I'll neglect to put the last corner piece here. Actually, I'll just put this here so I can fix it with Piccadilly's. even though I'm sure we'll have a ship available here to sort that out most of the time. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to connect this up until... until we've got all of our prod modules over here. Alright, and that should be covered. Fantastic. Also, I just realized uh, these robot networks probably don't connect when there isn't a ship here. I might be okay with that, to be honest. We'll just put a roboport here and the bots can go to sleep. Or rather, they can keep taking the, um... No, I guess they won't do anything while the ship isn't there. Which is probably fine. On second thought, I think I do uh, want to make sure that these are connected. Oh, we can probably just put 
this here. We just barely need scaffolding. Grumble, grumble. Well, if we need scaffolding anyway, uh, why don't we put it over here? Uh, is that going to be connected? No, it's not. What was I thinking? Oh yeah, because we have so much more distance diagonally, that's why. Let's just put that there. Should be protected. Uh, and where's our player ship? Oh, it's here already. Wow, time flies when you're figuring out Arcospheres. Uh, let's just park you next to the construction ship. And immediately the prod modules are on their way. And we've actually run out of them already. So let me guess, we're like three short. That's right, I was coming over here to pick up the Arcospheres. Don't put them in the trash, please. Don't put them in the trash, please. Oh. Um, there we go. Alright. Over to our new block. How close are we to going to get some more Arcos? Not even a little bit. We need Naquitite. Naquin cubes. Um, do have... Wait, what? Oh, they haven't been delivered here yet. Because the request threshold is probably... No, it's only three stacks. Wait, what? Arcosphere Collector, we've got ten. Oh, I didn't put a provide threshold here yet? Provide stack threshold ten. No, that's... That's exactly what we've got. Um, I could set it to 40 since that's what triggers that ship leaving anyway. But I would rather make sure this is working first. Because I thought those would be delivered here by now. Here it is. Uh, I didn't actually request them yet, that's the problem. Also, we need to allow Arcospheres to exist in this block. Arcosphere Collector... Alright, there should be a delivery scheduled here momentarily. Uh, 
Um, and let's get some logistic bots in here. Here they come. Fantastic. What is this, a 60 second recipe? We should probably speed that up a little bit. Refined vitamelange to vitamelange extract. What do I do with that? I've been putting off bioscience for the longest time. The, other, the others are 4, 3, and 3. Now I'm a bit stuck. Oh, rip. So you haven't done bio 1? Prio is minus 1. Oh, which one? If it's prio minus 1, it doesn't mean it's not going to be delivered. Oh, was it this one that was prio negative one? Yeah, no, that's that's okay. Oh, wait. I guess it's not if we need the Naquin cube here. Although, I'm pretty sure there's only one place that Naquin cube gets delivered from the short trains from the mall uh, to here, so I don't think it would have actually mattered. There's our first 10 Arcos, uh, Collectors. Yeah, delaying bio isn't that bad of an idea because you get lots of bio sludge from the, uh, especially material science. Uh, much easier to get it started. Alright, so... Speed this up a little bit. Didn't speed it up as much as I thought it would. I kind of want to see some of this in slow motion to begin with. There's our outputs. Um, we actually kind of need... Let's just do a... Whoops. Uh, let's just do a purple chest here. Why not? Looks like we're getting... Oh yeah, I wanted to check. One zero, one zero. They're out of sync, or rather, they are in sync, and we don't want them to be out of sync. So, does it actually swap recipes randomly? Yeah, I think it might. So having these opposite and synchronized isn't going to help anything. Not too shocked by that. Uh, but I guess we're getting random-ish outputs to begin with. Oh, uh, these should probably be buffer chests. Or... Yeah, they can probably be buffer chests. So this is Z and Theta. Oops, 24, and 20. Why do I keep typing 48 when I mean to type 24? And why are the 
bots not delivering... Oh, we just happen to not have any. Okay, then. Um, what's this one? Z and Gamma. Gamma... 24. And then... Uh, theta and Phi. And Phi... Epsilon and Zeta. Nope. Not Z and Gamma, that's the input. Uh oh. Which one was that? This one? The second one? Z and Gamma. Okay. Uh, this is actually Zeta and Lambda. Good catch, thank you. Uh, Lambda... Lambda... Also, put these in my trash slots. This is theta. Okay, that one looks correct. This one looks correct. And then we've got phi and omega. And then gamma and epsilon, is it? Starting to learn these. Omega and Ep uh, Xi, rather. And Lambda and Upside Down Lambda. Gamma. Okay, so our inputs are. Three, 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 and three. Oh, that. Does that mess up our average? Yeah, it does. Because. What, do we need to worry about it? We've only got four inputs. C is count is 12 divided by 8 is 1. Um, so I guess anything that we've got less than 1 of is below average. And anything that we've got 3 of can be considered above average. Maybe this could be a bit lower. Oh. Oh, I didn't connect this. I play a character anyway. There we go. Okay. So we should find that condition is met for one of these. No? Input A to... Oh, we're not inputting the count. Um... I may have used the wrong wire color for this part if I want to... I need to get the data on this green wire to all of these. And also C.
but without messing up the... Uh, also A, rather, but without messing up that calculation. I might actually need another arithmetic. A times negative 1. Output A. Uh, and that goes to our H times 1. use red wire here and then we can add a to all of this stuff without causing a problem all right so let's have a look there it is uh lambda is greater than a we've got three lambda and a is equal to 1. So we are trying to... We are trying to convert lambda into other things. Uh, omega is not greater than a for average, so we're not trying to do this recipe after all. Uh, we also don't have... Which one's Z? I don't think that part's working. Arcosphere Z less than A. A is 1. Arcosphere Z is nothing. So that should be outputting green. Why is it not? Is it because there's no Arcosphere Z signal? I would have thought that would just count as a zero. Oh, input signals. There's no A on this. Oh, because we've created... Okay, I, I see what I did there. We don't want the negative A to go up that way. We just want it to go to this thing. So this does not receive A as well, but this green wire transmits uh, the count of everything and A for average up here. So now it looks like it's working. Um, we've got three of four conditions met for this first recipe. Uh, that is... Lambda greater than average, uh, omega is not greater than average, z is less than average, theta is less than average. This one's also got three out of four conditions met. Um, zeta is greater than average. Z obviously isn't, because we don't even have one for this requested chest. And these two are below average, the outputs. Okay, I think that's working, but we just don't quite have enough to get it started. Um... Because we sort of low rolled on our output and at the same time possibly just the timing with the bots and stuff. Yeah, I think we just need more arcospheres to make this work. If we didn't need one of each of these arcospheres sitting in the requester chests, um, 
we'd probably have enough to make this work straight away. If we had a container here that was like a AAI container, like a large logistic chest that we could both input to and take from. Well, no, not this one. We would need like one big shared container, which is kind of the logistic network, but has its limitations. Um, I could turn these into buffer chests so that we can read... No, I decided not to do that in the first place because of how reading from the logistic network gives us negatives when things are being moved around sometimes. But if we did do it that way, if we ignore that part, these could be buffer chests so the logistic network recognizes that we've got a zeta here. Uh, we could read from the logistic network contents to decide how much we've got of each thing, calculate the average. Maybe it'll work better. A large container? Hmm. Indeed. Like uh, this one, for example. I don't think we can fit... Uh... We could almost fit eight machines around this. Or we actually could... We actually could fit eight machines around this. There could still be some unfortunate moments where... Unless we use filter inserters, uh, there could be some awkward moments where the inserter activates... No, wait. The inserter could activate and go to pick up one thing, and then that changes the logic, and maybe things get a bit wucky-wucky. So we could maybe do, like, two filter inserters each input so that they happen simultaneously. This was what I was thinking for a better solution. I don't mind this one. But I'm surprised how well this fits actually. Um, it's actually perfectly symmetrical. Radially. But then, how do we output? I guess we just say... We'd have a filter inserter. Or a stack filter inserter. And we have a constant combinator with like negative 50 of each type of arcosphere. So once we go above 50, uh, it gets whitelisted. And put into the logistic network. That's pretty easy, actually. I can't remember my solution exactly, but it involved a lot more combinators. Well, it remains to be seen if this is working. Uh, we need those arcospheres. Should I send this thing early? Um, we've got We've only got 10 Arcosphere Collectors, still. But I have a feeling we're going to be waiting a while. Um, if I don't send it now. How, many, how much plate do we have here? It's a decent amount. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm launching this. I, I would really like our first... Uh, our first lot of Arcosphere collection... to be, like, the full shipload, if possible. Arcospheres are never consumed, just folded into different types, indeed. You just have to factor in how your recipes work. Just, yes. 
Okay. Um... Is this train okay? Cargo rocket section. Oh, this is the one that's on a timer. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine, actually. One point eight K. Yep, that's all, that's all right. Um. All right. So where's our plate? Do I need to prioritize this? Probably. Oh wait, it's more the mole that has to have a high priority, which it should already. Priority one hundred. Okay, cool. And I don't see plate here yet. It's just arriving. Cool. And that is heading for... Oh. That's not what I was looking for. That's coal. That is plate, and it's going to, uh, cubes. That should be fine. Alright. Um, so I'm sure we can refine this, but this will probably be functional, I think. I'm sure when we get a large enough number, it's going to be functional. Uh, my only question at this point is, I was going to say maybe we should even do inversion. We've got lambda, uh, is that theta? Lambda, zeta, epsilon, and gamma. Yeah, no, it would be pretty unlikely um, that it would just happen to be four of these. Versus the other four. It would also require, the way we're doing this, it would require more um, arcospheres to be like out of action, out of circulation, sitting in the requester chests. I have an idea. We can make the inserter green signal has to be equal to 2, and then we can change the input ones so that instead of outputting green signal, uh, they output lambda, for example, and then, and then set requests on this. Um, and that'll mean fewer your arcospheres are going to be sitting idle that way. Um, so, we're going to... We're going to change this to set requests. Copy-paste that across. And once I connect the wire... Uh, we should see all of the requests disappear on these requester chests. And then we're changing... Well, first of all, we're emptying these chests for now. So then we're going to go Arcosphere Lambda... If it's greater than average, output Arcosphere Lambda. I could go... 
I wonder if there's a way I could save a combinator or two here by saying each greater than A output each, but then we don't want the wrong things being requested in the wrong chests. So I think we're probably going to need just as many combinators here. Alright, so how many... There's only one more lambda somewhere. There it is. And omega... Goes here. Epsilon... Uh, phi... Uh, gamma. Gamma, gamma, gamma. Uh, I think that's Z, yep. Zeta. here, and we've only got one more. Beta goes here. Cool. And then this becomes green signal equals two. Oh! Uh, that makes sense, I guess. Wait. Yeah, no, that's fine, actually. Um, we do have a lambda in here, and then... I guess... Wait, what? Hold on. How did... How did we end up with... So there's no ingredients. Uh oh. Um, don't tell me the spiders are holding onto some of the bot. Uh, some of the arcospheres. I'm pretty sure they should already have arcospheres set to zero from trash unrequested items. Unless, yeah, okay, there it is. Good, good, good. Okay. So... All of these conditions are true, but we don't have a Arcosphere Omega to put here. Wait, if Arcosphere Omega greater than average... No, it's not outputting. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, so, dope. Lambda is greater than average, therefore we set the request here. Lambda stopped being greater than average because it got thrown in here. Um, Omega is not greater than average right now. If Arcosphere Epsilon... So these two conditions. These two are not below average, but we do have extra lambdas. So we brought a lambda over here. Um, if I added even more combinators, I could have a decider here and a constant combinator with like negative lambda, negative theta, uh, and the condition, it's going to output everything input count if a certain condition is met. 
uh, if two green signals, then output negative one lambda, negative one theta, and that way we're not going to request this um, unless all of these conditions are true. But I don't think I'm going to worry about that. Okay. How is our... We've got 33 Naquim cubes on the way. And that's going to give us a whopping four Arcosphere collectors. Oh, and that's all of the cubes we have here right now. I think they all got eaten up already. Making antimatter engines or something. Uh, 10,000 degrees. We are ready to launch. Away we go. Speaking of which, um, let's check in on Stardust again. Uh, our player ship is definitely ready to come home. And I think the construction ship probably is as well. Oh, uh, we didn't get all these prods here, did we? We did. We've got 129 remaining. Let's go. I'll rotate this the wrong way until the prods are in there. Definitely add some more mines. This'll do. Um, okay, make sure those are all facing the right way now. should have kept track of which one was which. Is this one? Oh, good. This one's not in the beacon. It's no big deal. It's only got 74k to pick up. Hardly anything, really. Can we... We cannot. Cool. I think that's about the limit of throughput that we're getting over here. Uh, we need a beacon over this side as well, which I kind of, sort of, forgot entirely. Uh... Looks like we can get all but one of these mines under a beacon pretty easily. I guess that'll have to do. So, how many ships have we got? Um, Stardust. One is in motion, ten is in motion, eleven is waiting at Nalvis. Two is waiting at Nalvis. Uh, three is loading, four is waiting at Nalvis. Five is not taking off yet from Nalvis. Six is on its way to Nalvis. Seven on its way to Nalvis. Waiting at Nalvis. On its way to Nalvis. Okay, so there's actually no ships uh, waiting their turn to land here now. 
So we've definitely shifted the bottleneck. But I worry that there's something a bit off here. Green, 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 green. Uh, no green. Oh, because we've got an aquatite. So all of our takeoff conditions have been met except for unloading aquatite. Oh. Oh. Um. Uh-oh. We've run out of vitalic acid. <laughs> okay. Consider the bottleneck shifted again. We did actually increase our production of vitalic acid a while ago for this very reason. We made a second block of this, but also the trains weren't delivering vitamolange extract. Uh, what's this? Stack size 50, 32k. I just think that's four train loads. Yeah, four train loads. That should definitely be enough uh, to keep that going. We did also run into a problem where these stations had a train limit of one, but that doesn't appear to be the problem now. Don't tell me we're actually bottlenecked on Vita Melange now. Yeah, I think our Naquium is... I think our Naquium is bottlenecked on our Vita Melange. Well, that's progress of a sort. Why do I see these machines not doing their thing, though? Oh. It's actually Vitamelange itself. There's no... I don't think there's an issue with the throughput of these blocks by the look of it. Do you carry blueprint... Do you have blueprints for your train grids? Yes. Carrot... Carity? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can find that blueprint at that link there, Factorio Prints. The real problem with Naquatite, Vitalic Acid? Yeah. We've reached... We've reached that milestone. Um... I'm, I'm pretty glad, in a way. I don't think we really need to spam any more ships. For now. Appreciate you pronouncing the Y in Carity. Uh, no worries. Alright, so... We've got a lot of Vitamelange available in... Uh, in the solar system. We've got Penium, which is radius 9.5k. Um, we could go ahead and replace the uh, delivery cannon system with antimatter ships. And we'll stop having to throw uh, explosives and iridium. We'll stop having to trade explosives and iridium for um, bitter melange. I think on Rose we all uh, we're still using spaceships because it's a it's a much smaller planet. We're Pretty well into diminishing returns here already. We've got uh, 20, sorry, 16 um, core mining drills. And it's all running off of its own solar power. Was this supposed to be a... Did, did I forget to finish this... Um nuclear plant that was going to be here. That's a little sad. We did clear out rows, didn't we? 
Threat 1%. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Spider Meteors. We have confirmed hostile extinction. Okay. Uh, Via Terra is actually Holmanite. Wasn't there... Oh no, I think I was confusing Via Terra with its Holmanite with uh, Vitamelange, actually. Thank you for the follow, Carity. Welcome, welcome. Modders sometimes make a completely new game. Absolutely. They do a great job. Feels like a full game expansion? Yeah, it's huge. Absolutely. Um, okay, so... We don't have as much Vitamelange in system as I thought. I, I thought we were, like, saturated with this stuff until the end of time. Um, but that said, we are bottlenecking on our delivery cannons. Because they have to charge up so much to fire from here. Um, we're almost at capacity with our block that processes the Vitamelange core fragments as well. Well then. Okay, um, why don't we look at candidates? I mean, I can increase the throughput from our existing planet as well, but... Uh, we should have... What's this? Vobis. Calamity is pretty close, kind of. Minimal biters... Uh, it's not waterless or anything. Uh, I'm pretty sure Calamity is where Deadwood is. No, that's Capellus. Where's Calamity? Oh, it's all the way over there. Uh, we have been here, but that was just for Varus. That was a long time ago. Um... I don't know if that's where I want to go, honestly. I bumped up the priority on that as sort of a maybe, just because it's huge and there's hardly any biters, but we'd have to set up uh, energy beaming and everything as well. I, I want to start with distance from Nalvis and radius as the main things to look at. Um... Let's just go down the list. It's pretty damn far. That's pretty good, actually. Angulus. Um, we've been to Angulus, right? Mid radius. Not that many biters. Angulus. Oh, it's over here. That's where Morpheus is. And Sanj. So we've got infrastructure here already. Um, Renoto? Was that the one I was looking at? Yeah, it must be. 4.8k radius. Um, that's not too bad. Renoto. So I'll bump that up to 10. Rose is in our system. We've already got it. Hooray. That's pretty far away. Huge radius. Though. Kaya. Kind of far away. Tiny moon. Don't care. Uh, huge radius on this one. And quite close to Nalvis. Why to threat 100%? Um, 
if we can find some water. If we can make ourselves a little island fortress like we did earlier. Then this would be pretty good, actually. But I'm getting the impression it's not going to be that easy. Regulus, where is this? It's quite close. A little bit closer than Hankerus Oblomoblado. Um, clearing up the biters is literally maximum difficulty. We've got, like, almost literally the biggest planet we can get, and biter threat 100%. We would have to pour a ridiculous amount of energy into uh, glaives. Or we would have to use an extinction bomb. Uh, it might actually be worth doing. Next one is... So was that Mireska? Yeah, Mireska. Lisa? Mid radius, kind of. F oh, I need Delta V from Nalvis. Uh, it's kind of far away, kind of mid size, too many biters. Tiny moon. Uh, we've been here. We know we can manage the biters, I think. It's quite close, actually. Decent radius. I'm going to bump that one up to, like, 20. Uh, decent radius really close to Nalvis. Electra. Hardly any biters as far as a Vidomelange planet goes. Uh, Vobis? Didn't we already look at Vobis? It's kind of far, really big, hardly any biters. Uh, I did mark this as like priority five. Did I look at this one already just now? Oh, Calamity. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Okay. Uh, Penium is our in system big planet. Zada, Kai, a little bit far, big, maybe, tiny moon, mid-size and mid-distance, hardly any biters, bump that up a little bit, and last but possibly least, that's really far away. I'm not bothering with that one. Okay, so probably this one? Does Vidomelange have something to do with biters? Um, it's catnip for biters, I guess. Biters are in fact the little makers? Little makers? Does the spice have something to do with the worms? Quite likely. I don't see any biters here. Oh, and we haven't visited this pyramid yet, either. So this is in Electra, which is not that far away. We've already got outposts here and here as well. Uh, Picard is Cryonite. That is Crude Oil. It might be worth hitting up. Especially if... Especially if we can clear out the biters with Glaive. It's only 17% biters. Yeah. That might be it.
All right, did we get any more? Products finished 14. That is not a whole lot. Do we have more? Nope. Well, I think next stream will have to be when we send this thing to do Arco Sphere collecting. I may yet send it early, uh, just so that we can get to see that happen and make sure it's working. But yeah, uh, initial Arcosphere swapping, um, we probably have this working, but we don't have quite enough Arcospheres uh, to make sure. The spit doesn't really hurt, it just makes you high as f possibly. Uh, but also, also, I suspect um, getting spaceships to pick up this uh, Vitam Lunge is probably, probably going to increase the throughput significantly. Let's look at our production stats. Vitam Lunge core fragments. It's kind of spiky. Um, so I would imagine... Instead of our average being about here, it's going to go up to about here, just by improving the logistics so that the... so that we don't bottleneck on the delivery cannons. And that's going to allow us to put a whole lot more drills here as well. Um, we're not going to get 50% more... Uh, bit of a lunge from here with 50% more drills but we haven't gone that deep into diminishing returns just yet oh um all right i guess let's start looking for someone to raid gone a bit over time today We got Death Maze, C Block, started up the all in one self building mega. Oh, yeah, I think Tumbling was doing that the other day as well. Factorio with SpaceX. You guys probably want to see some more SpaceX, right? Thanks for streaming. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the stream streamer. Uh, thank you. Thank, thanks for the lurk and chat, lurk and ch chatter. Uh, seriously though, appreciate you guys. And I think today we will raid El Wito, El Wito, lurking greater than all, to each their own. Um, all right. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you like, if you have any questions about that, by all means. And, uh, stay safe. Take care, guys. Fucking drugger. You fucking drugger. Tyrannosaurus hacks, dude. What is going on? How was the stream, my guy?